Uh, here's one about the desert where I live. It's beautiful. Yeah! It's beautiful yeah! but desolate. Woo! Empty and hostile. Yeah! Yeah! I always wanted to die young. 
just wanted to. Yeah, you should share it. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Oh, well, you will probably know. Yeah. 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 I know, I know everyone's just trying to have a, everyone's just trying to have a good time. I want everyone to have a good time. I'm seeing people in the front row that you cannot see who are like not having a good time because of what's going on. So, yeah, uh, if you want to, if you want to like dance harder, you know, maybe dance that, dance that way. Dance away from what's going on. If you, if you don't want to dance as hard, just be up closer and we'll, and, and we'll be cozy with each other. Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 Uh, I got a couple more. Thank you all very much for being here. Um, I have uh, I have shirts and CDs and stuff. Everything I sell is by donation. So whatever your financial uh, situation, you can you you can have any of the things that you want. Um, yeah. Okay. This morning I can't tell if I'm nihilist or religious or if there's even a difference. If God made the West Texas Highway, I guess there probably isn't. There's a darkness in my bones. It reaches all the way down to the mud. There's a spark that's in your eyes and catches flame. And it burns all through my blood. And every friend locked up parading. It's reason enough to go all in, to raise the stakes, to call the bluff, to burn all the world down for the sake of the ash, for the things that we've got coming through the storm of gasoline and broken glass. morning I can't tell if a man or kiss or religious or if there's even a difference if I'm waiting for the right time to act well I guess there probably isn't there's a darkness in my bones it reaches all the way down to the mud and there's a spark that's in your eyes and catches flame and it burns all through my blood Fruities. Hey, Amorous. Hey, Solarial. 
I don't know. What, what, what are you talking about? I didn't smoke anything. <coughs> oh my god. Hey, Puka. <laughs> Ken. Karina, you were streaming? Uh. Tloril, I wouldn't even know how to do that. The only dab I know how to do is, um. Fucking. You know. Uh, I, dude, I kind of want to play Zomboid. Um, or, yeah, I don't know, seven days. I don't. I want to play Zomboid. I've got Roxy going again. Um, Karina, I, I don't. That, that, that channel's muted. <laughs> There's too much activity in there. Um, yeah, I've got Roxy going. I've got a character, a repeat character in Zomboid. Her name is Roxy. I'm quite a fan of her. Um, <clears throat> but um, yeah, so how's how everybody doing? What'd you do? Uh, what'd you stream, Karina? Oh, I wanted to see what that announcement looks like on mobile. Hang on, give me one sec. Interesting. Kind of jacked. Oh. Art and tunes. Alright. Uh, another uh, mega church pastor was arrested for sexual assault. Um, this guy actually does, I mean, he kind of does, but he doesn't look like the one that you'd expect, right? He's got kind of a vibe, but I mean, this isn't the dude I would expect. This, this guy ran one of, uh, yeah, right with her? Uh, later, Nova. Um, he, um, he ran one of Canada's largest megachurches, which I'm sure Canadian megachurches are on a, like, a lower scale than the U.S. megachurches. But, like, apparently he ran, what's, what's this? Is? The Meeting House in Oakville. Um... Fucking, yeah, he got, uh, he got tagged for some, uh, sexual harassment and uh, sexual misconduct. Uh, you know, uh, interestingly enough, uh, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a kid. Um, it, it's, it's it maybe just a kilo church then. Exactly. Um, but um, um, it's, 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 it's not... I mean, you know, he was 46, she was 23. Um, it started, it, it started badly and it got worse, apparently. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, pastoral care twisted into sexual abuse. Um, but like, you know. Okay, so the meeting house. I want to see this place. Mega church. Oh, that's so quaint. They think that's a mega church. Oh, Canada. Oh, you guys are so fucking adorable. Oh, oh, bless your hearts. Oh, that's... Here you go. This is one of Canada's largest mega churches. Oh, bless them. I figured they'd be like it scale under I didn't figure this was gonna be like logarithmic Jesus Christ. <laughs> is is it done growing yet <laughs> dude this is this is adorable this is this is just a church this isn't even like this this barely a church for us like this is just this, just this, just a church Exactly. Like that exactly Mike. That's just a church. <laughs> like, that's not a mega church. Oh, bless your hearts, Canada. Um 
this. This is a mega church. <laughs> Look. This shouldn't exist. This is a horrible, horrible thing we're looking at. But, like, when you say mega church, know what you're. What this is this this is a mega church. This is a mega church. <laughs> what the fuck is that other shit? It's adorable. Oh, that's amazing. One of one of Canada's largest mega churches. That's how that article was written. That's how that article was written. That's some sketchy ass shit. What wh what's the agenda there? Because there's no way that's one of Canada's largest fucking I mean, look, it probably is one of Canada's largest mega churches, right? But that's not here neither here nor there. What's a who yeah, what's with that headline? Who What's that about? pastor of one of Canada's largest megachurches. Is that actually, is that editorializing in the headline? Or is Canada's perception of churches this... Like, we're not the only ones. You know that, right? Like, I mean, okay. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's, this, this is, this is, this is psychotic, right? But, 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 hold on. I'm going to challenge you. There's, 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 there's mega churches and then there's like Uber churches. Like this is the church, you know that, right? Like we're not even the top end of the scale. Like there's no like actual like ego or anything in this at all. Like we're not, but like mega church has, is like positioned on the scale, right? When it's the size of a fucking stadium, it's a mega church. This, this, this is the Uber church. This is Vatican City. This is a church. This is all a fucking church. <laughs> like, yeah, the scale gets crazy. Moonies in Korea do it in American size too. Dude, the Moonies are wacky. Um, isn't it a branch of the Moonies, um, the kid, right, that was blessing the AR-15s? That's him, right? Uh, okay. Toronto Star. Uh, slightly tastier, more radicalized WAPO. Aww. <laughs> Rita loves her emotes. Uh, number one. All right, cool. Let me see it. The website's not very responsive. Um, all right. Let's just... Let's just get that going. I mean, that's, yes, welcome to it. Yes, that's, I mean, it's a small one. I've seen high schools with stadiums. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I've seen high schools with stadiums this big, though. R really, I actually have multiple times. Um, yes, welcome to it, though. This is, yeah, this is, this is, this is a proper entry, at least. Um, <laughs> no, Karina, I think it's cute. Um, cool place to open field tackle at Twerk. <laughs> this is, um, wait, are these the guys that put on the fucking, the play? Are these, are these the theater nerds? I recognize, is this, I recognize this fucking, wait, is this the theater nerd church? Are these the fuckers that put that on? <laughs> um, hey, Squiddy. That crazy shit we were watching on YouTube. God, that feels... 
No, I don't think so, but that'd be amazing. Um, the preacher became a super spreader when he went to a Trump event in DC. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> All right, so we've got a decent entry at least on the mega church, but that's their number one. Oh, God. Yeah, like, okay, here, here, here. Let's give you a sense of scale. All right, here's your number one. Here's your number one mega church. I don't even know if he's our number one. I don't know if it's our number one even. God, I'd have to check. Is Osteen, does anybody know? Like off the top of your head without even having to do a research. Does anybody know? Do any of you fuckers actually know off the top of your head? Who's America's largest fucking megachurch? Yeah, it's because it was an actual stadium nonsense. Church. Jesus Christ. Okay. They got like media package up in this bitch too. Holy shit. This is a nice layout. It's not huge, but this is a nice layout. Dude, this is this is a solid piece of work. Like this is as a performance arena? Holy shit. Any theater, any theater troupe would kill to play in this house. This fucking house is nice. This is a nice fucking performance space. This is a high tech space. They can put on some fucking plays. They can put on some shows. The media package, I bet they have for fucking sh each show, each, I'm sorry, each service. Damn. This is Gateway Church in South Lake, Texas. A non denominational charismatic. That's <laughs> how so it's classified. Uh, run by Robert Morris. It has an average weekly attendance of 100,000. So that's through multiple shows. But, I mean, look at this space. This is a nice fucking building. I mean, hey, got any theater nerds up in the house? Look at some of this. Look at some of this gear. Look at that stack of fucking... Yeah. This is a nice theater. They built a really, really, really gorgeous performance space. They, they're like, we're going to build a church. No, we're going to build a fucking theater. That's what we're going to build. We're going to build a badass fucking theater. Yeah. This is a nice fucking performance space. Look at this. Look at this professional. Look at this camera gear down here. Do you understand the level of media production these fuckers are doing? Look at the camera track. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This shit's being live streamed, too. I guarantee goddamn you. They, they've got fucking a whole media team that is turning this, turning this content. I'd shoot my version of the Gary Shandling show there, dude. Nonsense. I feel you. And that is underrated. Under fucking rated. Gary Shandling. Gary Shandling show. Dude. Respect. Uh, triumph of the will type shit, I tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah, for twos. For sure, for sure. This is... You can sort of see the gas lines back here. You can... Dude, there's... This is a nice space. Look, I mean, they got media. 
they got fucking they got a media package in there. Look at this shit. Oh, uh, I bet a few of you have been to church, right? I bet you never been to a church that did that. What the fuck? Dude, homie, I might, I might go to fucking church. Like, dude, this is a fucking show and a half. This is a free show every week. Right? Like this is, this is, it's this, is this, is it this level of performance every week? I, sure. Yeah, I go to that church. Why not? Dude, I want to just catch a quick show. Yeah, yeah, it's all Christian themed, but it's fucking great. <laughs> it's fucking, dude, it's a performance. Uh, largest evangel evangelical church is Yoido Full Gospel Church in Seoul, South Korea. All right, let me check this link. Um... Okay, so this is what this is what non-binary said. This is a fucking this is about this church. All right? This is about these fuckers. <clears throat> My church now claims a former pastor no longer existed. <laughs> so I attend Gateway Church in the Dallas, Texas area. <clears throat> We're a mega church with over 20,000 weekly attendees. <clears throat> One of the head senior pastors was David Smith. He used to routinely give sermons and serve in a very public capacity. My wife and I truly enjoyed his insight. My wife even knew her wife, Linda, in passing. But <clears throat> I noticed something very troubling in the past couple of weeks. You see, David has not preached in the church in months. Not unusual by itself, but with such a large church, you can go in months in between seeing people. But I missed his sermons. So I accessed, I accessed the sermon archives. I could not find any of his sermons. Confused, I searched for his bio in the staff section of the website, and I could not find him. Oh, God, are they going to gaslight this poor person? So what happened? Was I hallucinating? The following is what really irks me. I asked a children's pastor, we have dozens last week, about David Smith and why he no longer appeared anywhere on the church website. And this pastor tried to convince me that nobody named David Smith has ever been pastor of Ga at Gateway Church. Frankly, I was flabbergasted, and now I'm suspicious. Why would they deny he worked at Gateway? <clears throat> he was one of their ex executive senior pastors, only be or below Robert Morris in authority. What happened? <laughs> Why had nothing been announced? <laughs> Has he stepped down? Did he pass away? Do they straight othered this motherfucker? He doesn't even exist. What? Who? Now that I don't know what you're talking about. I'm very confused and concerned and unsure as to what, to what I should do. I know David Smith existed. Of that I am sure. Just Google David Smith Gateway Church and you will find old videos of him on third party sites. For example, I found a video, a video, a video, video of him from September 2014 with the following bio. David and Linda Smith have been married for over 30 years. They have five children, blah, blah, blah. David has unchurched, blah, blah, blah. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, David now ser uh, serves as executive senior pastor at Gateway Church, South Lake, uh, Texas. So what happened? Why no announcement if nothing, something is to happen to David? Is the church hiding something? I'm extremely confused and concerned. Um, our, oh, Jesus Christ. So many edits. So many edits. All right. So... Oh, God. Yeah, this is, by the way, this is just miserable. Hang on. I'm sorry. Sorry for fucking making you suffer through seeing that version of Reddit. Ugh. God, it is awful. This was six years ago. We never heard anything about it again. Dude, this dude, they straight, this dude, they, they disappeared, this dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like straight like Stalin's unpersons. Like, dude, this is straight disappeared somebody. <laughs> so these fuckers. Yeah, these fuckers. Yeah. That's dude. <laughs> That's the front of the house. There's a the back of the house. 
Wonder what they make. How much money does Gateway Church make? Somebody, somebody, if they're um, if they're disappearing, it disappearing people. Like, okay. Let's see. I may have something. Um. Yeah, but how much do they make? There we go. There's no, okay, I'm gonna take a shot in the dark just based on, because I don't have anything specific on them, but based on the tier that they're working, dude, they're, I mean, top end, 90 million a year, something like that. So, like, yeah. I wonder what he saw. I wonder what he was witness to. Right? Homie. People have been killed for $5 on a street. You want to fuck around with 75 million? You you want to you want to fuck around with 75 million? Fuck around. See what's up. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> I found the comments of GW Insidia, or Insida, from Warren Throckberg's blog, and my wife and I have been reading them for over hours. This is chilling. I feel lied to. During the construction of the now over $100 million 114 facility, Robert had an incident in his life that could have easily disqualified him from ministry. It was as serious and involved life and death. I won't say more for fear of GW shutting WT's blog down. But it happened and a fair number of people know what happened and I was privy to firsthand evidence to this so it's not gossip or conjecture. I believe that when George found out about the incident, he tried to appro approach Morrison to get him to receive help and counseling and to take some time off for restoration. Almost identical to what people wanted at MH for Mark Driscoll. What happened next was awful. To avoid any accusation of gossip, I will just let you listen to the tapes of Robert Morris describe the Jezebel in his life and how he used the three apostolic elders, Jimmy Evans, Jack Hayford, and James Rob uh, Robeson, to crush this man. Oh, yes. Yeah, you fuck around with that kind of cash. Yeah. Dude, like I said. People have been killed for five bucks on a street. Fuck around with a hundred million dollars. See what see what people are willing to do. Yeah, he, he yeah, Korean. He he saw the books or so, something, something. He 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 saw the second pit, set of books. That's you know, he saw the set of, set of books that you know we all know exist. Sorry. Come on. They're not running something off books? Yeah, go fuck yourself. It's like that cash that was found in Osteen's fucking wall when the fucking plumber or whoever went in and fucking fixed some shit and there's fucking cash in the wall. Yeah. Oh, that money was stolen from us years ago. Oh, was it now? Oh, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, it was like behind a fixture in the wall built in there. It's like, yeah, yeah, the the burglar stole cash from you and renovated around it. Come on. Yeah, fucking he saw some shit. He knew some shit. That motherfucker got just got gone. Who? I don't know who you're talking about. You f it doesn't matter what he saw. 
It doesn't matter what he saw, whether he saw some diddling, whether he saw the books, whether he saw like it, 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 it does. Oh no, they do not boom. Um, it doesn't really matter what he saw, right? He saw some shit. He knew some shit. He did some shit. We don't know either way. Look, it's a hundred million dollar enterprise, homie. Like we do, we build a building for a hundred million dollars. You know what? To, you, you know, you know the expected return on building a building for a hundred million dollars is, right? Like, do you understand what kind of money we're talking about here? Right? Like, we're putting out a hundred million dollars. There better be some cash coming back. So, like, we're fucking around in numbers. In numbers. Do anything to rock the boat. It doesn't even have to threaten the boat. Like, in totality. Just fucking rock that boat a little too much. And see what happens. People will do some shit. Like, do you understand fucking around with that kind of money? Gone. And they're a church. They're a church. So they got that whole fucking brainwashed fucking sheeple shit going on in the background. They can just straight up fucking other that guy. Fucking stall. Like the guy pointed out, Stalin's unperson. They can just gone. Who? You should counsel God on that. Some crazy shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. David Miscavige gets up to that shit all the time. Uh, in the second paragraph of edit to the par uh, pastor admitted to fucking kids. Great. So kid fucking. Kid fucking. The, the top guy. What's this fucking douchebag's name? It's, yeah, I keep seeing it. Uh, let's get a picture of this idiot. Robert Morris. What do we got? Oh, Jesus Christ. You got a fucking shit in me. All right, fine. I mean, all right. So <laughs> I'm just going to show you the two photos in like, this is, this is, this is what popped up like right, right away. All right. This is the first photo I saw. This is, this is the senior pastor. Hey, this, okay. This is the second photo I saw. I mean, come, of course, yeah. Uh, oh, come on, man. I wouldn't let this motherfucker near my kids. Come on, folks. Come on. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so he saw some diddling. Uh, Yeah, it'd be bad, just low nine digits. But I mean, you know, like I said, people will fucking murder a motherfucker for five bucks. That, that don't fuck around with that kind of cash. It gets done. People were upset that the person running for sheriff had his campaign party at a restaurant where one of the victims killed by the sheriff used to work. He couldn't have held it any, uh, anywhere. Someone who was uh, gunned down by the sheriff hadn't visited at some point. Jesus Christ. Uh, sir, this is the last time you will ever fuck around. It is now time for you to finally find out. Yeah. Like, come on. That's some real money. Of course he's gone. Yeah, that motherfucker's gone, gone. Like, I do not expect to find any evidence of that. Do not expect to find any fucking trick. Dude, they will just... Whew. That's an organization with dedicated members. God's will, motherfucker. God's will. Mm. Shit will get done. Yeah. Oh. Just. Uh, how would you keep him away from your kids if you wanted? It would it, be quick and simple an answer. Uh, whether, yeah, my kids wouldn't be there in the first place, right? The only way that, uh, like, my kids would, like, these these hypothetical kids, the only way my, my kids would be exposed to that sort of shit is if it were in the wild, like he were walking down the street, and I'd be fucking, nope. It's just head on this way. We don't need to do that. <laughs> fucking... Come on, kids. 
you know yeah no i i i my kids wouldn't what a all right hang on this this space this space this space has this lame twat as it's like lead senior pastor oh satoshi uh not fbi um i have two opinions <laughs> i'm still mildly in the camp that satoshi may not have been a singular person um but um plenty of people have released things into the wild and they're ghosts the trail's just not there it it it, it is it is doable you can't actually walk and leave no footsteps it's depending on the degree to the, what how somebody will search um you may have to take extra steps above and beyond but it is possible it's a, it's entirely doable a task and things can be released into the wild um anonymously um so I'd like to think here it is y'all figure it out I I had great hope for crypto that's why I hate it that's why I hate it it's a useful idea in technology. It's not, it's not world defining, but it's useful. It's, it's one of the components that you need for like this sort of autonomous technological society. It's, it's just an element in it. It's just one of those technology and, and it has been seized upon and <sighs> turned into a multi-level marketing scam. And it's got other uses. And there's better iterations, you know. There's, there's, there, there are better iterations of this that aren't environmentally impactful uh, to the degree. It's just basic computing at that point. Um, you know, there's, there's, it holds potential to allow for distributed organizational methodologies that anarchists would be really fond of if they understood what sort of the, like, what's going on there that you can actually build some of these distributed communal ideas and you can provide the, you know, uh, the, the, the glue or the thread that holds this fabric together, right? That this is one of those technological elements that we can say like, look, you can provide proofs and contracts and these sorts of things that you can at least, you know, hold each other to your word and you can uh use within that sort of communal consensus sort of society that we want that we can you know have a record of our actions and our organizational decision making processes and be able to share those and utilize those cross platform right into other communities and other spaces um it, it's it's a it holds potential and it really, really, really kills me that it has just become a speculative commodity that is used for tech bro pump and dump scams. Because that's standing in the way of mass adoption. The people who know what this stuff is about already use it. Right, like the people who need the what it can provide them 
the why do you think the black market runs on crypto now? What's up, cat? What's up, Astro? Why do you think it runs on crypto? Right? Like if if you want to be above and beyond that level of you know restricted by groups, there are ways, right? And so like, yeah, like you the same way that um, porn made the internet, you know, and gaming made hardware. Um, black market on the internet, specifically drugs, <laughs> the big one. Humanity wants to get high. We've had that urge since the beginning of time. Animals do it. We do it. We are animals. It's just the way it works. So, you know, an immediate, a need exists. Um, someone will find a way to supply that need. <laughs> this is supply and demand. It's just the way it goes. Uh... You can't do crypto like that under capitalism. It gets heavily regulated, which removes the point of it. Yeah, Amaris, I, you know, you know. I. Uh, let's see. Robert admitted to using their pain and suffering in order to get them to have sex with them. <laughs> Knowing it'd be in another city in the next night. These were the high school youth rallies and school assemblies. Nice. Uh, wait, so these were high schoolers. Okay. All right. So he wasn't diddling the, 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 like, daycare. But when it comes to, when it comes to these fuckers, it actually does beg the question, how young were they? Um... He admitted to having sex inside his own uh, church when he was supposed to be in Sunday school. Apparently, he was like the Bill Clinton of Longview, Texas. All right. church though such deviancy la gasp yeah they bought into a bunch of mines back in the day like i remember in the like late 90s or something was when the cartels started discovering like mining in the region and they started like getting interested in like you could see the like you could see back then the seeds of what it took to go legit right and yeah they yeah yeah they, they've been divesting for a while right they're they're in a lot of a lot of other industries now <laughs> a lot of other industries jesus christ they got they got fuck you cash um I, you know, what's a, what's a modern Catholic ch church look like? Cause I gotta tell you, I don't like the old stuff. Do they have any like sense of anything anymore? That's a mid century modern. Oh, you know what? I dig it. 
This is St. Anthony Claret Catholic Church in San Antonio, Texas. I like this. This is, dude, he's a carpenter. I dig this. They did the whole, they did all that in wood. Yeah. You know what? I like it. I like it. I'll look for this other one. Oh, wow. That's a whole, that's a whole vibe, huh? Jesus, how big is this photo? Oh, wow. <laughs> Not even trying to hide the evil. Not even trying to hide the evil. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. <laughs> wow. That's a statement. Is it the happiest, uh, Sophia? Uh, dude, this is, this is a whole thing. This is. Oh, Sagrada's gorgeous, though. It, it yeah. It, yeah. That, that guy, what fucking, I, I don't know the, the, the architect's name, but, like, yeah, that dude, um, somebody offered him some, like, really big deal, like, giant project. And he turned him down back like a while ago. But yeah, dude, this is this is a whole vibe. I this is Jesus. Okay, so like yeah, like this is Jesus. This is Jesus. Fucking, you know, this is fuck me, man. All right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's, uh, it's got, I, I, I don't like the minarets. <laughs> I guess they add a, they add a certain, like, you know, a, a pointy to the rounded. They balance it out. This, this absolute psychotic clusterfuck that it is. I, this place is nuts. That dude's fucking, he's. Uh, Gaudi, that's who it is. Gaudi. Uh. Of course, you've got a favorite quote about my mother, about your mother church from John Adams, you fucking lawyer. Um. This afternoon's entertainment was to me most awful. Adam Tiermann's uh, means awe inspiring and not the more colloquial use of the term <laughs> common in our time. Awful and affecting. The poor wretches fingering their beards, chanting Latin, not a word in which they understood, their paternosters and Ave Marias, their holy water, they're crossing themselves perpetually, they're bowing to the cross, uh, the bowing to the name of Jesus wherever they hear it, they're bowing to kneelings and genuflections before the altar. Here is everything which can lay hold of the eye, ear, and imagination. Everything which can charm and bewitch the simple and the ignorant. I wonder how Luther ever broke the spell. Oh. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Um, no, I, it, it's, it is, this is, this is a whole vibe. Liverpool Metropolitan Cathedral. Um, I think a few of you might sign up for this church.
I've got a religion degree. I get to be a religion nerd. This place is a vibe. I dig it. I'd like to hear one there. I still want to go to one of those gateway shows. Dude. The fuck, man? <laughs> I still want to. That, that's a that's a performance space. Oh. Uh, Evil on the outside, gay on the inside. Uh, need to make it definitely not Swiss guard. Neons. Hmm. Remove the pews would be a good dance floor and stage too. Yeah. Nice space. Remember, we got here from an article by apparently the Toronto Star about a Canadian mega pastor church, uh, pastor who was arrested in a sexual assault investigation. This is him. And this is the mega church. Okay. <laughs> this is a mega church. Oh, fuck it. I love it. It's trying. Be nice. <laughs> and then I did show the, the, I pulled up Vatican City. I said, now this, this is the church. Right? Like, I mean, we can all fucking point to churches, but holy shit. It's a whole city that's a function, functionally a church and a nation state still. Vatican, man. Uh, wasn't the Marvel Theater Pastor Canadian too? I don't know. The Tabernacle is a lovely venue. Churches are beautiful. It should be used for good instead of evil. Um, I appreciate the community aspect of church. I appreciate the, the shared experience. People do concerts. Like, people experience this in different places in different ways, but people have experienced it. You that that shared community community that singular experience that you you know it's a human thing like we we do it. Um, it'd be great if that um, aspect of ourselves weren't uh, wasn't as abused and uh, misused um, as it is in those instances. Yes, I I I like a lot. Of what that is, because it, it, humans seem to need some of that in their lives in some way, shape, or form. Now, you know, I'd reshape it all, but that community thing, we do seem to have a need for it. Okay, Cathedral Notre Dame de... I'm not even going to try. Oh. All right. All right. That, that's, that's a vibe. That's a vibe. All right. Here's the inside. The ATMs in the Vatican had Latin options when I was there. I was inappropriately excited between that, the statue of Lacoon, and his sons, and the various popes in their glass cases. Jesus Christ. Mm. You fucking nerd. I love you. Um, yeah, this is a, this is a nice space. Dig it. Dig it. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Um, 
yeah, that's that's actually not that bad. Um, let's see, some of the far right anti gay fuckwits have started attacking uh, you churches for not hating uh, gay people. Yeah, that's you know, by going into their services and sharing photos of attendees, including kids. Okay, well, that seems fun. Yeah, I'm okay, Alex. This thing is an egg. I mean, it is. Um, no, yeah, it looks it looks nice. I I I like a lot of what they do. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Polish church uses the traditional cross design, even the ugly concrete ones. Boo. Yeah, I I, I think like isn't it supposed to be like an expression of like I, I look. Realistically, you shouldn't be building the space in the first place. If you listen to your fucking savior. Realistically. You probably shouldn't be building that church in the first place. So. You know, it's it's clearly fulfilling other roles in our social cultural fabric, which, OK, OK. But if it's going to fill those roles, fill those roles, right? Bring the joyous expression. Bring the, the artic, uh, artic, uh, architectural beauty. Bring the, 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 the exclamation of human design and compa like uh, 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 expression and, you know, all of that. Bring it. Um... I wonder how a church is built caters to hypnotizing indoctrination. Some of them very much so. <laughs> Some of them very much so. Really. Um, if all religions were like uh, unambiguous good values, like, hey, make sure no one goes hungry, unhealthy, and unhoused, and then you go good afterlife, then I have no problem with this shit. Yeah, except, yeah, that's the problem. Uh, it's that small little hang-up. Just that small little hang Just small. 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 Well, uh, any day now. Any day now. Any day now. Realistically, we have enough churches to put most people in them, which is too many. It would be better if they built housing like that. Yeah, it's it's you. If you were listening to Jesus, the Jesus. If you were listening to your Lord on a stick, then you wouldn't be building that building. It's just that simple. <laughs> Bail the Acropolis. Uh, oh, is that it from the top? Interesting. It's more of a clam. It's not an egg. It's a clam. The message of churches has been perverted because humans. <laughs> Jesus hit some good points. The church does not. Let's pack all of humanity into a skyscraper the size of South Dakota and leave everything else virgin. Oh, God, no. <laughs> um, Jews have the one temple. Um, oh, oh, there's plenty of synagogues. Swapped out my piercings for the last stream. Not tonight. I'm putting in, uh, in my titaniums back in May. If, uh, Open the wound a bit. Worth it. We gotta keep them clean. Shellfish. Sinners, all of them. Is it concrete? I don't know what it's made of. I mean, we could probably find out. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Alright. Okay, maybe probably not then. Is it? Okay. Well, you're not going to find out easily. Just put it that way. Oh. Reading comprehension. God. 
I hope they're not one of ours. It's, I just, I'm like, are they American? Is the reading comprehension really that poor? Or is that, or is that like their level of a fucking troll? Or a joke, bro? Oh God. Not, none of these options are really ideal. Fuck you, Corey. <laughs> I'm just hoping we don't have to claim them. Account created two days ago. Ah, thank you, Cupcake. Duly noted. Can we just say it's Queer Pride? Um, it's also, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it isn't. Uh, well, I hope all of you patriotic, patriotic Americans. Um, and remember, even if you're not American, as far as America is concerned, you are you just don't know it yet um yesterday was flag day so i hope all you patriotic americans displayed your your u.s flag proudly outside your your domiciles uh Now you know the tired sigh every black person does when the dumb criminal on the evening news is a scrubby black dude. <laughs> oh, Marcus, I've been there when in in the room. <laughs> in black dudes, my man, like I've been there in the room when that dude comes on TV. <laughs> I've heard what y'all say. <laughs> I've heard what y'all say. Get me knocked right the fuck off air. <laughs> I started repeating that shit. Uh... <laughs> uh, I pledge allegiance to the fart and the incontinence for which it sounds. Uh, I don't have a rain Yankee snot rag. So no. <laughs> Yeah, it was flag day yesterday. Uh, I had something else too that I saw that I was like, I wanna I wanna, I wanna use that. Um What is this? Is is this okay? Um, you ever hear someone ranting about mixed fabrics unironically in the South? Yeah. Eh. Um, just look at this thumbnail. <laughs> I saw the tweet. I saw the tweet. I saw the tweet. <laughs> He's molding over the table. He's molding over the table, y'all. I'm not kidding you. It's because it's because the tankies got their table turned over at the Bay Area Book Fa Book Fair. I'm not kidding you. He's been he has been ranting and raving ever since. He's been he threatened the Portland uh, book fair and said they're coming with dozens of uh, dozens of guys and security and nobody's touching my table. He's oh yeah, he's he's in full has mode. He's in full fucking has mode. He's he's pissed at the anarchist right now. He's super fucking pissed. Uh, yeah, because the tankies got their table turned over, and also the anarchists turned their weird bust of uh, fucking Lenin into a donation jar by punching in his fucking dome. Um, yeah, he's 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 molding right now over the table. <laughs> That's what all of it is about. That's what all it's about. Oh, has <laughs>
Pookie. Uh, I was hoping so hard. <laughs> I'm the co-word. <laughs> can we? Cringe, In cringe, can we? clown, clown, cringe, clown, clown. Cringe, 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 cringe. cringe, cringe. This is cringe. like a bad... Fuck it. I wondered if anybody was going to jump at that. I wondered if anybody was going to jump. I saw that happen live. I'm like, wait for it. Cat, cat got to it. <clears throat> it's like, geez. well, bound to happen. Bound to happen. Um, what is this fucking Matt Walsh? What is a woman bullshit? It's just some anti-trans fucking movie. Um, Where where can I when I where where is this fucking I I I I I guess you have to like is it just free? Where is this Daily Wire? Fucking the documentary they don't want you to see. If the it, it's the question you're not allowed to ask, the documentary they don't want to see. Join Matt Walsh on his often comical yet deeply disturbing journey, as he fearlessly questions the logic behind a gender ideology movement that has taken aim at women and children. Watch what is a woman now streaming exclusively for Daily Wire members. Has anybody pirated it yet? <laughs> I would never, never encourage anybody, but, I mean, if anybody's pirated it yet. Wait, he included child porn in the film? Che, elaborate and expand upon, <laughs> expound upon that point. What is a Matt Walsh? Uh, Kavos, just, you know... Right wing talking head, talking potato head. Yeah, it's a right wing talking potato head. It just, you know, that, that space. Um, fucking topless pics of pre 18 girls. Okay, well, that's interesting. And they haven't edited that out and like re-released that they, they chose to leave that okay cool uh, cunt also works with me for those okay cool building a shorthand with you Kavos. see I like a shorthand yeah yeah if I can just sort of like cool cunt got it sorta he has a topless trans boy in the film the argument is if the kid is really female he included a topless, a uh, uh, topless fifteen-year-old girl on film. Oh, okay, all right, all right. So it's a litmus test. Okay, that's that's the seat. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> Interesting. He 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 at, he attempted to build a a pedo litmus test. Now to build a pedo litmus test, you generally have to like in some way, shape, or form probably touch some pedo, and that's just what he kind of did, right? Like one way or another. <laughs> Like this is, I mean, yes, libertarians, I hear you off in the distance. I understand. It's not technically pedophilia. Um, but like, yeah, like that's t one way or the other. Okay. 
So we know where he's willing to go to prove his point. How far will you go to prove your point? Wow. That's, um, that's a distance. That's a distance. <laughs> oh. I made a children's book about a kid pressured by their teachers to use Churgy to transform into a walrus. Very subtle allegory. Hmm. Uh, he didn't have permission, and when the kid and the family asked him to remove it, he refused. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's fucked. Oh, yeah, he's fucked. Are you kidding me? Did they... Wait. Oh, he still defends Josh Duggar? Jesus fucking Christ. He didn't have permission. So no consent for filming was given. And when they asked him to remove it, he refused. <laughs> oh, he's fucked. Right? Like, there's no... What's the defense there? Marcus, is there a viable defense there? What what what, what would you if you had to defend this asshole? What, what's the what's the defense for this? Cuz what the fuck? Voss. The problem is they tend to burn others down with uh, with them. That's the problem. That's the problem. Uh, why is there no... There we go. His defense currently, I believe, is since he pulled it from, I think, TikTok, it's fair game. Ah. No? Because isn't even media like what are the, what's the media distribution rights associated with TikTok? TikTok's going to control some level of that. There's no way TikTok is just fucking like, hey, you can just capture footage from our our platform and use it for commercial purposes. Are they are they really that hands off? Oh, I mean, wither. There's got to be fucking child porn on TikTok, right? TikTok's fucked. You know, there's some some of that shit that this like right there on the edge that you know you're like, this is not appropriate. This should not be on like available for consumption. This is not something that should be distributed, right? Like, there's got to be for sure. Actually, the CP on TikTok is bad over the top. Straight straight up child porn. Oh, okay. Cool. Great. Great. Just great. All right. He's probably fine, actually. It's not criminal, but it would probably hold up under the Fourth Amendment. So it's presumably a civil issue, and unless he breached their consent in the original acquisition, he's probably okay. He can likely argue either consent to expose it to the public or some artistic exception. Even if it's a breach of TikTok TOS, I don't know how the family would have a standing to sue. All right, cool. Well, there you go. Always consult your uh, sketchy ass fucking drunk, your tr drunk sketchy ass fucking uh, internet friend attorney. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's the three attorneys, dude. Stanhope, I have my three attorneys. I've got my showbiz attorney. I've got my everyday attorney for everything in my life and then I've got my sketchy attorney that when we have a, a dumb idea when we're drunk halfway in, uh, in the middle of the night we call him up and say hey how bad would it be I love that category three attorney 
They're my, they're actually some of my favorite people. <laughs> you fuckers are amazing. Uh, let's see. Pairing certain songs with kid vids is pr uh, pretty sus. Mm. TikTok allows 13 year olds. <laughs> but I have to regularly tell elementary students not to engage or for the love of Pete, not to use their real name. Mm. There's a gray area in the press for that reporting purposes. A screenshot of TikTok and Instagram. Twitter can be used without needing to ask for the copyright, but the website has to be present. You can't just download the media and repost. Thank you, Amrus. Uh, I hope this joker didn't include their name. I bet he included their name. Um, you'd, be surpri you'd be surprised how many texts and calls I get along those lines. No, Marcus, I wouldn't. No, I really wouldn't. No. No, I don't think there's a number you could put up that it would surprise me, actually. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that dude, Squiddy. That's, that's, that's unnecessary. That's unnecessary. Uh, we do not need elementary. Five. I think. I think if I built the internet, one of the few controls that I would put in would be a like a data net like a distance that like is tied to because I believe the internet access to the internet is a human right at this point in our development I want everybody to be able to access to the internet but I want to I, I really do think it should be gated to a certain set of resources for a certain amount of time that you shouldn't be let out in the wild west I think everybody should be let out in the Wild West. I just think that we shouldn't let eight and nine-year-olds be exposed to, I mean, dear sweet Jesus, the Internet's fucked up. The Internet's humans. We're just nodes on this network. So, yeah, this is the human... Network. It really is. <laughs> oh, come on, Kai. I grew up on the Wild West of the Internet, and I turned out okay since Caboose. Yeah, we're both fucked in the head in a lot of ways. Right? Like, nah. Nah, you don't need, you don't need kids running around knowing that shit. It's fine if adults know it. It's fine if adults fucking... It's fine. Kids? <laughs> come on, y'all. <laughs> This is, you know, human, not always humane. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, getting whispers from our friend Scare Scarecrow in chat. Scarecrow, hi. It says in chat rules that all opinions are tolerated. No, it sounds like, uh, to be, uh, it sounded like you were trying to find any excuse to ban me or something. Uh Scarecrow. I don't know who you are. I don't know what your deal is. One, it's a night show. Loosen up, man. It's a night show. Get a drink in you. I, you're probably on the other side of the globe. But two, you came in accusing me of being racist because you misread the name of the, the name of the channel. It's radical, not racist. I, Jesus Christ. Um. So three people started asking you questions. It's really difficult to catch a ban on this channel, though. It really is. So, like, no. There wasn't an excuse being sought by somebody to ban you. Nobody gives a shit on that level. We're just trying to probably figure out what level of bullshit we're about to have to deal with. Like, total... Reading comprehension moment. 
Vaz, I would have banned you already. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, back to something that is not worth, you know, something that's worth my time. Hey, Joe. I was thinking maybe if some people wanted to, we could uh, potentially play some like riff tracks or some shit. Or I could just play Zomboid. Um, <clears throat> oh, stress. Or we could do the trolley problem with you fucking psychotics. No one with her. I don't think. I don't think we need to. Uh, Caboose would be down for some riff tracks. There's one at least. Zip it, you want to do some riff tracks? <laughs> oh, get Zippy in there. I think Zippy's too sweet for riff tracks. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. We have tier lists. We have plenty of tier lists. Marcus, Marcus made, you know what? We have tier lists, like... Marcus fucking, um, hold on. Oh, dear sweet Jesus. All right. Oh, God, that one's going to be troublesome. Uh, Marcus, you looking to fuck with me? Created a tier list of black American activists. That's not going to be problematic. Kai, Kai, can you roll your tongue back in your fucking skull for a minute or two? Oh. <laughs> the serial killers one. Hold on, let me pop the serial killers one. Fucking Bojo right on the front of the uh the fucking uh, prime minister's list. All right. Hold on. Let me just look at these real quickly. Oof. Not a ton of lookers in this bunch. Not a ton of lookers. Let's just put it that way. Jesus Christ, that's rough. Oh, I know who that one is. Let's see. Man. Oof. All right. Pri UK prime ministers, U.S. serial killers, U.S. mass shooters... Black American activists or U.S. secretaries of state. Oh, we did African dictators. I'm pretty sure. Wait, no. Mm, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was the first one. Are there good looking British prime ministers? Um Bojo's not terrible, especially when he's younger. He's um Dear sweet Jesus. I mean, do you, you know, what am I supposed to do with this? He's decent looking. Um, he's like decent. Jesus Christ. I mean, he's fucking at least fuckable. <sighs> fucking Cameron. Um, dear sweet Jesus. I, dear man, this is rough. This is rough. This is. I've been promised these are always legal, Amaris. I dude, this is this is not Jesus fuck me. I mean probably 
You're, you're probably right, Amherst. Uh, who the fuck are you? Jesus Christ. Some epic fucking sideburns. I mean, you just seem <laughs> categorically evil. I mean, that's the picture of a fucking suspected Victorian, like, serial killer, right? That's not a fucking, well, I mean, British Prime Minister. Could be both. But, um, I mean, come on. This is, this is a mess. I mean, is Boris Johnson th the best-looking British Prime Minister somehow? Is that... I mean, is that what we're saying? That, like, Boris Johnson... Later, Karina. Sleep well. Thanks for the raid. I... Before he started combing his hair with the balloon. Like, and he's decent looking. He's a kind of a handsome dude, I suppose. God, I hate your fucking smarmy face. Ugh. Top hat is carrying the guy though. I mean, yeah. Oh my god, this is this is. You have a ten scale for this? Are you are you out of your fucking mind? All right. All right. These are the categories. Oh, fuck off. Still no. Oh, for fuck's sake, no. And I guess so. All right. These are the fucking categories. We have three tiers of no. And then we have one tier of fine. This, this is what I come up with. All right, oh. you two, you three, fucking. I I I want this down here. There we go. All right, you're you're doable. You're doable. Again, this guy's just a fucking serial killer. Um, yeah, you know what? That feels right. Uh, I think this guy might be doable. Uh, yeah, I think he might be doable. Um, let's see. Nah, he's a still no. Yeah, no. 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 Um, 
yeah, grand, grandpa, still no. Yeah, for fuck's sake, no. Um, yeah, you deserve a still no. You see, you got a vibe to you. Um, uh, you know what? You get a still no as well. I, I, I don't know. Maybe if we, like, shaved you down or something. But no, like, you freak me out, bro. Um... I mean, again, this this looks like a crime photo of some sort. This looks like some dude who, like, for sure, like, he read a book, he heard voices, he assassinated an actress, something in that territory. Um, all right, you're you're you seem to have some like ex military vibes. Maybe you flew a plane. You might be doable. Lie to me about it. Um, yeah, that 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 dude's there. Um, yeah, still no. I, I he's doable, but I don't know anything about him. He's doable. Done. He has one eye. Oh God. All right. <laughs> After I learned he has the one eye, he goes down. <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> Dude in the top has best. All right, let's 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 fucking hold on. Let me pull up this folder and. Um, open it. All right. UK prime ministers. Let me pop this on my desktop really quickly. And for fuck's sake, just had an icon go rogue on the left hand side of the screen. There's already a fucking monitor there doing a thing. Can't have you doing that. All right. Bring you guys back up. All right, let's figure out who some of these assholes are. Um, uh, let's see. That Gordon Brown, who agreed to be the chancellor uh, of the uh, ex exchequer of uh, part of the deal, he did over a curry in a curry house where he agreed that Tony Blair was to be the le leader of the... Labor Party. Okay. Um, let's see. There we go. All right. Let's let's see some of these fuckers. Let me get this back up. Okay. So we know who. Um, fucking. Uh, we know who the first two are. That's David Cameron, and that's fucking Bojo. Um, the next one is. Oh God, he's even got a name, y'all. For the ones who the top hat was working for you, here's his name. His name is Robert Anthony Eden, 1st Earl of Avon. He was Prime Minister from 55 to 57, apparently. What? Cupcake down. Cupcake down. Um, uh, because the British, um, yes. All right. So who's, who's, who's next up? Um, Leonard James Callahan, Baron Callahan of Cardiff, 76 to 79. That's this guy right here. He is Leonard James Callahan, Baron Callahan of Cardiff, 76 to 79. Jesus Christ. How many of these fuckers are going to have names like that, by the way? Um, all right, so. Oh, God. Um, Archibald Frederick Douglas Home, Baron Home of the Hercel. 63 to 1960. Uh, nope, sorry. Right, wrong one. Sorry. 
That's Archibald Philip Primrose, 5th Earl of Rosebery, 1st Earl of Midlothian. Uh, Midlothian. Yes, Archibald Philip Primrose, 5th Earl of Rosebery, 1st Earl of Midlothian. 1894 to 1895. Eden equals conservative. Good to know. Um, better pick, by the way. Hmm. Okay. Oh, all right. Who's who's next up here? Oh, oh God, we have a normie. Oh God. Oh God, we have a normie. Edward Heath, 1970 to 1974. He has no titles? Oh God, I'm sure. I'm sure his prime ministership was was absolutely awful to have a peasant run it. Oh, what were they thinking? So this is Gordon, this is James Gordon Brown. Interesting. So that's Gordon Brown. 2007 to 2010. All right. So we have some still no's here. That is Andrew Bonner Law, 1922 to 1923. Who is David Lloyd George, 1st Earl Lloyd George of Dwyfor, 1916 to 1922. Okay, so Primrose was a liberal. Heath was a conservative. Brown was labor, lost an eye in a rugby accent. Um, all right. Then we have this guy. Who's this guy? Glasses McGee. Who's Glasses McGee? Sir John Major, 1990 to 1997. And then we have Sir Henry Campbell, Bannerman, 1905 to 1908. And then Maurice Holden McMillan, the first Earl of Stockton, 1957 to 1963. Oh, God, they really do take those stupid fucking names, titles, seriously. Sir Anthony Charles Linton Blair, a.k.a. Tony fucking Blair, and his smarmy little face, 1997 to 2007. Jesus, God, he rode you guys for a while. I forgot that. Um, let's see. This is Arthur James Balfour, the first Earl of Balfour, 1902 to 1905. Glasses McGee equals a conservative. Yeah, he's got that vibe for sure. For sure, Glasses McGee is a conservative. All right, who's our Victorian serial killer? Even though we're not from the Victorian era by a long shot. Um, James Ramsey McDonald, 1924, and then again in 1929 to 1935. He did a half, halfway decent job then, apparently. Um, or he, or he really pulled one over on y'all. Um, I can't wait to hear, um, <laughs> John Major lost in 97 election, subsequently resigned as prime minister and conservative party leader. Seven years later, it was revealed that he had conducted a four year long extramarital affair with fellow conservative MP Edwina Curry. Oh, I know that name, Edwina Curry for some reason, uh, 1980s. Yeah, so AJ, I can't wait to what was what was the seri what, who's the Victorian serial killer? What's his deal? Um, uh, so next guy up is uh, Benjamin Dis. Oh, that's Benjamin Disraeli. I know that name. First Earl of Beaconsfield, eighteen sixty eight to eighteen seventy uh, eighteen sixty eight, and then eighteen seventy four to eighteen eighty. Um, all right. Yeah, that's Arthur James Balfour, first Earl of Balfour. Um, 
Alexander Frederick Douglas Home. That's the Baron Home of, of the Herschel, 1963 to 1964. Oh, he's actually kind of doable in that photo. Oh, for fuck's sake. Guys, way too much drama for this time of night. <laughs> um, Clement Richard Attlee, first Earl Attlee, 1945 to 1951. Who's our very stern looking man here? William Ewart. Gladstone, 19, 1880 to 1885, then 1886, then 1892 to 1894. Wow. Oh, he was uh, he was all up in there. Um, oh, here's a, here's another repeat offender. <laughs> you know what? That's yeah. He got swagger in that one for sure, for sure. Um, Robert Arthur Talbot Gascoigne Cecil the Third, Marquis of Salisbury, eighteen eighty five to eighteen eighty six, eighteen eighty six to eighteen ninety two, eighteen ninety five to nineteen o two. Jesus Christ! This motherfucker was all up in it. Lord Edward George Joffrey Smith Stanley, the 14th Earl of Derby, 1852, 1858 to 1859, and again, 1866 to 1868. My Lord, he has quite the name. Um, all right. Herbert Henry Asquith, first Earl of Oxford and Asquith, 1908 to 1916. And then we have the, oh, fuck off. Sir Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill, 1940 to 1945, 1951 to 1955. And the only reason he's there is because we're unsure of his fucking age. Which is so fucking stupid that we have an arbitrary thing. <laughs> oh, there's the tier list. Then he has to be, right? Well, no, he doesn't. It's fucking Britain. Jesus Christ. It could have been fucking 12. Um, all right. Let me just check something really quickly. Okay. That's what I thought. Cool. Uh, Churchill when first elected to Parliament. Yeah. Oh, he's a good looking dude. Too bad he fucking ended up like that, but I mean, you know, tough times and all that. Chip chip cheerio and whatever all. Now oh, Blair is ugh, fucking Blair is so fucking slimy and smarmy fucking. If that dude were if that dude were uh, um, <clears throat> like near me in a bar, like if he would just if he like walked up to the bar, I, everybody adjacent to him should just cycle their drinks. Be like, nope. I just I just feel like he just like <laughs> magically roofies drinks wherever he goes. Like just by becoming into contact with him, he just. Mm. Churchill's 21 in that picture. Oh, well then fucking Churchill gets to 
come up to here. Solid. Because he's he's a solid looker in there. See the see the absolutely stupid arbitrary nature of that? Well done. Yeah, yeah, I know. Cl uh, Clinton was at least fucking. Clinton was, Clinton was a ride. Clinton was a ride. <laughs> all right, close that. Get rid of all that shit. Don't need that no more. All right. Y'all y'all still going at it in there? You're like, you're like two raccoons and a fucking sa and a sack. Nah. Two raccoons and a pillowcase. Um, yeah, it'd be pillowcase. Yeah. Yeah, like two raccoons and a pillowcase in there. Yeah, dude, Marcus. Yeah, I've been fucking dropping the ball recently too as well. There's like a bunch in the drafts just uploaded that I need to fucking trip over. Uh, it is what it is. Um, all right. <laughs> fucking don't you work hard enough, Marcus. Don't you work hard enough. Like, don't you? <laughs> what do you do to like... <laughs> Marcus, do you know how to do nothing? Have you ever experienced in your life doing nothing? <laughs> like, do you know what this feeling feels like? Uh, either way. Wordy, what is this doing nothing? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, Marcus would take that fucking pill that like um <laughs> the Amaris left us it actually works. Impossible. Um where he's been drawing a fantasy map for the last three hours. Um yeah. I mean I do this shit to distract me from my work. No, I do not. I had a coworker ask me how I could use work to distract me from work. <laughs> yeah. If I get, if you had the like limitless pill, Marcus, right, you'd take that, right? You just like I don't need to sleep anymore. You'd be like all over that shit, huh? You'd be like, cool, I'm done with sleep and shit. Um, <laughs> can I take the no longer sleep pill too, says Wordy? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, whether I'd love that pill, Marcus, oh God, yes. Seriously, sleep schedules suck. <laughs> Uh, nothing is my favorite thing to do. This is Curiouser. Curiouser gets the vibe. Marcus, I'd fucking strap, I'd fucking strap you down to a couch. <laughs> fucking feed you edibles and fucking whatever else, man. You'd fucking just, no. <laughs> Breathe. You can do it. Um, I mean, the first one right out of the gate that wasn't even on there is Trumbullplex, and it's in Detroit, outside Detroit, Michigan. And there's, like, one in Virginia. I never remember his name. That definitely needs to be on that list, too. Um, yeah, Acorn, I think, is one of them. I think that's the one I'm forgetting. Uh, got a new job where the rooms cost 2800 a night. Yeah. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Yeah, I mean, not getting a job at that place, but I mean, I'm surrounded by those places. So, 
There's two at least in Virginia, says Weather. Yeah, like that's a lot of them like don't advertise too, by the way. You know that, like, right? Like that's there are there's there's more than we can actually properly track. Like um <laughs> fucking A, you guys are fucking insane. All right. That's um you know what? I'm just wondering if chat is self sustaining at this point. I'm like, I'll fucking play Zomboid. Uh, <laughs> it's an insult. It's an insult for 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 Kavas it is. Yeah, milk drinker. You fucking milk drinker. Um I dude, I have wordy, I have no fucking clue what's going on in chat. Dude, they have they they've completely uh left me behind. I don't know what the, the lore is at this point. I do know that the fucking subject of this um came in having misread the like channel name and was like, You're racist. Um, and it has gone somewhere from there. I don't, I don't really know where it has gone from there, but it's been going for a while. So it's definitely probably had some twists and turns, but I have no idea past that point. Um, Wordy, I'm just going back to my fantasy map. Um, fucking A. All right, let's. You know what? Uh, yep, I was going to say it's about to happen. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't do. It just said hi all. So, I mean, Metadista just fucking, so you know that it got pulled. Um, yeah, that got pulled just because if we can't mod it, then it gets pulled automatically. Just so you know. And uh, the, we do have a mod that actually would be able to read that and reply to you uh, in Russian. Uh, but he's not present at present. So, sorry, it got pulled. But hello. Because that's all that person was t attempting to say. So what's up, Metadista? Oh, seen this. Um, some cinema has canceled sub screenings of something because something blasphemous film. Um, daughter of Prophet Muhammad. Oh, Jesus Christ. TLDR, Scarecrow, Scarecrow is economically centrist, a mix of socialism and capitalism, and also an ethno-nationalist. They're also a big fan of not being straightforward. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Have they... It, they wouldn't be the first ethno-national... Like, ethno-national Swede that we've... That's actually come into the chat before oh they're a new one all right yeah apparently that's a thing over there it's just white genocide theories Sally. all right all right 
Um, if you want to extra judge me, I'm currently working on a paper to publish with a working title of English, Christian, and Shia uh, con conceptions of legitimate religious authority and criminal law. Someone help. Marcus, use it. Some of us will never have that level of productivity. Fucking use it, man. I'm proud of you. I give you shit. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to continue giving you shit. Don't think for a second that I'm not going to. Uh, but no, no, it's super impressive, man. I, it's nothing but respect. Um, but you are insane. Yeah, you, you, you're absolutely batshit insane. Um, let's see. I'm going to launch that. I am. Hold on. I'm moving things around. Uh, if you want to join me in voice chat, I'm just going to open it up. Um, so I will be in voice chat for a minute, and then I'm going to move it on, on air. And if you happen to be there, I will move you with me. Um, okay, cool. Hello. Hey there, Caboose. Um, the Swedes. Okay, so we've got some, like, weird ethno-nationalist Swede dude. Sven? No. He seems to actually be Swedish. All right, let's see. Of course, by there it is. Uh, there we go. All right, cool. Sven too, but more authentic. Oh God, <laughs> non-binary now is like speaking Swedish to them because non-binary is as as we recall has has a very extensive amount of experience with that portion of the world um <laughs> and so yes uh now now non-binary just straight up fucking drop it in swedish at this point it's like let's just have this conversation um <laughs> Cupcake, so honestly, I thought it might have been Sven as soon as he said he was from Sweden. <laughs> non binary says, fuck you. Well, um, <laughs> the, the true Swede was the one inside you all along. Yes, exactly, Weather. So the authentic Swede surely has a retort to whatever that was. Yes, <laughs> that, that, that seizure on a keyboard that non-binary had. Sven is definitely not Swedish by this standard. Sven isn't Swedish by anybody's standards other than his own. He, uh, he meets his own qualification, I think. Oh, God, or does he venerate Sweden that much that he prostrates himself before it? And he's like, I am not I am not yet Swedish. I am not worthy. But one day I hope to be. <laughs> God. Oh, that boy. Sven was interesting. And annoying. Oh, fuck it. That was more of a translation. Ah, all right. After mass migration, they've eth they've got ethno nationalist Swedes. Uh, eth ethno nationalist Swedes have been popping up on the radar more and more. Yeah, dude, fucking all that um, African refugee immigration into um, into Europe fucked with a lot of that white. Like you, you motherfucker. For a while, a lot of fucking Europe was coasting, coasting. It's like, oh, look at those Americans having all their racial problems. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Here's a here's a few boatloads of uh, African refugees. Oh, oh look! There's racists pouring out of the walls. <laughs> it seems our it seems our society is overflowing with them. <laughs> yes, welcome. <laughs> we at least deal with our dirty laundry. Fucking a. 
Uh, oh, is the translation is damn, you're a fucking asshole. So if anybody wants to know how to say damn, you're a fucking asshole in Swedish, uh, is Skitstovel? Is Skitstovel asshole? Is this like a direct translation? Can I look at this and just say Skitstovel and that's asshole? All right, you're going to have to, like, put up with, like, the, oh, maybe not, the top bar. Let me see how this looks. Okay, what do you need to see on my screen? All right. I think, now you need to see Moodles. You know, that's chat. There you go. Right here. That makes sense. Oh, uh, shit, shit, Stovel, shit, Stovel would be a better pronunciation. Duly noted. Uh, everyone, this is, uh, let's see, this is Roxy. Uh, Roxy, take off your hat. Yeah, your filthy fucking fire, uh, fireman's hat. Unequip that. Everyone, this is Roxy. Yeah, full on fireman's gear, huh? Oh, yeah. Roxy is like straight up. Um, <laughs> um, okay. So Roxy is, uh, an only daughter of a, uh, of a fire captain and her two older brothers who she grew up with. Her mom died when she was really, really young and she was raised by her father and her two older brothers and pretty much in and around the firehouse. And so like when she woke up and went outside to see, like after she had her morning coffee and she, she you know, she, she woke up here at the, the firehouse, the station and she, uh, she had her morning coffee and she bleary eyed, look out across the road and you know, there's, oh, there's some uh, people out there. So came out and encountered her first fucking zombie and you know, I mean, instinctively just fucking cave that fucker's skull in, but then had to go out and put down all of her fellow firefighters and pretty much once you fucking cave in your two older brothers and your father's skull uh skulls in so they don't fucking munch on your face uh you get pretty numb pretty quick so zombie uh so uh roxy is pretty much a mean green fucking um zombie killing machine up in this bitch she feels nothing at this point uh as far as putting down um zombies um so yeah she's she's pretty numb to it um, so she puts in fucking work. Um, her, her second order of business is she went up to the PD, uh, she went up to the police station and then, you know, uh, put in some work and settled some old grudges. Um, she, you know, she fucking, she grew up in the firehouse. She had, she had a few grudges with those, oh, with those boys. Um, so she handled business. Uh, now she's get she's fitting to get down to, uh, the, uh, the school, and pick her up some books. Cause a woman learning. Bam, bitch. Um, a Christian Swedish nationalist. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, <laughs> what has Sweden done for us anyway? The cheese? We had Colby Jack the whole time. Um, yes, Mohawk with her. Fucking Mohawk. And yes, they, uh, <laughs> yes, I keep a journal <laughs> in game. <laughs> uh, because of course I do. Oh, God, Scarecrow is balding about immigrants in Sweden. Oh, poor Boopy. All right, so it is, it's over there, actually. I'm pretty sure if I don't want to have to cut through woods. Dude, I knew I had a problem when I was watching a um, some new streamer. I, I hadn't watched him before, uh, some YouTuber. Um, and he was doing a run-through of Zomboid and modded versions. And he, like, his first first one, he, like, you know, he his spawn point is a... Well, I'm sorry, his, um, the bed, the place he's built is like, you know, in a, in a little storage container area. 
And I'm like, I'm pretty sure he is at the storage facility that is uh, that is just adjacent to the manufacturing and warehouse f- uh, center outside Riverside that if you keep going, you end up at the country club. And I'm like, let's see, as he steps outside of the storage container. And I'm like, yep, no, nope, it's exactly where he was. I'm like, dude, I know this game a little too well at this point. I'm like, I have a problem. I can spot recognize places on this map just like inside buildings and shit <laughs> like yep I know where you are um I actually did have backstories for my characters until I got killed by a scratch disc boss uh re- Wither's gonna be referring to Scarecrow as Cheese Nat now Cheese Nat for the Cheese Nationalist Whether it sounds good to me wordy oh boohoo i don't want people in this country for arbitrary reasons why can't you respect my opinions and uh, non-binary drop them some more swedish sweden isn't even originally christian you got from other cultures intermingling with swedes often violently notably uh as a christian per definition it's impossible for me to be a nazi or racist Jesus said, "Welcome the foreigner amongst you." As you were be, you were a foreigner in a foreign land once as well. You're a bad Christian. Jesus would disapprove of you. Would be sad. You're not doing what he said to do. Anarcho Jesus. God, I love the audio design in this game. Dude, that, that, that subtle fucking heart pounding in the background when you get in it, fuck it, it really does fuck with you. Yeah. Night, Kavaz. Night, Kavaz. I didn't even properly introduce the character. I need to show the stats off. What a terrible Zomboid streamer I am. Should show more for what I'm playing with. As soon as I, as soon as I do my duty here. Aw, come on. Where do you guys come from? Oh. <laughs> There, get on the ground. Took a you. There we go. Alright. Anyway, so she is right on weight. She is a smoker. She has a weak stomach. She is short sighted and a slow reader and a Sunday driver. She has cat's eyes for better vision at night. She's dexterous. Fucking fe- uh, speedier uh, inventory transfer. Super nice and necessary. Wakeful, 30% less sleep required. Fast learner, 30% XP for all skills except fitness and strength. And then she's fit and she's stout. So plus two to strength, plus two to fitness. Nice. Yeah. She's got a, you know, nasty habit in, in the form of smoking. But, you know, and she doesn't necessarily... Um, she doesn't put up with like burnt food or like spoiled food, but like honestly, my characters never eat burnt or spoiled food. Yeah, it's never been a problem with any of our games, has it? Yeah, so like I'm I'm just like my play style, that's free points sitting right there every time. Like, why am I not taking that? And short sighted literally as near as anybody can tell, doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Like we know what it's supposed to do. But it doesn't actually do what it's supposed to do. People have taken this game into debug mode and, like, tried to figure it out. It just seems broken. Um, so, like, yeah. At the end of the day, like, short-sighted seems to be free points. Um, and then Smoker is just, I mean, I have I run a modded... Uh, smoker uh, cigarette drop rate because it's like 1993 or 1995 in fucking Kentucky 
right? Like in the mid nineties, you're going to tell me that Kentucky didn't have cigarettes literally everywhere. Yeah. Nice try. Um, Hey. Oh God, now we're Oh good, more lunch boxes. I stole the cops' lunches. That's straight up. I was like not As you should. Yeah, like she grew up with these guys, right? She grew up in this small town in a rivalry with her fucking her uh fire fire captain dad. And she fucking, of course, she knows all of the cops and they all fucking treat her as, you know, fucking less than because she's a woman and because she's a, fu- she works in the f- uh, fire department. And so, like, yeah, she went in and fucking settled some grudges and then took their lunches like it was fucking middle school all over again. If you don't create your own fun you will get you'll you'll get you know you got to create something for yourself they're still fucking oh still after it Oh, what exciting detail is the word Allah is depicted in mirror image, says Anakin Larson, researcher in textile archaeology at the Department of Archaeology and Ancient History at Uppsala University. Wait, what is this? Oh, God. Oh, God. This fucker's trying to claim other shit, right? Like he's trying to claim some Viking shit, probably. He hates Jews, too. Good feeling. Ha ha. Of course. I mean... You know, you're going to go all that ways with all of that and not, you know, hate the Jews, too. Come on, man. Um, I'll take one just to see. I'm literally taking all these kids lunches. There was a poll done on the uh, the uh, Project Zomboid um, subreddit as to what everybody thought the um, the cause was, and fifty four percent believe it's Spiffos, the in in world fucking mascot and fast food franchise. Um, about twenty five per uh, about twenty five percent there uh, thereof li- uh, believe it to be uh, some sort of government experiment gone awry. Um, so yeah, but the the leading the prevailing theory amongst the game fans is that it's the in world uh, fast food franchise. <laughs> I wonder what the evidence behind the Spiffos one is, because there's a little bit of things going on that kind of compels the government experiment one. Um, I, th- <laughs> I, I think it's just a deep. T- the people who did comment were like, "I don't fucking trust him. Just look at him." <laughs> 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 they like fundamentally did not trust him. Like they're just like, "Yeah, no, look at him. He's not to be trusted." All right. So, I mean, all of these would technically have a shot. Oh, that's good backstory. Fucking, uh, yes. I need that. She's wearing a friendship bracelet on her left wrist from, uh, from, uh, one of her brothers. I need another one. I need two. I need two. This game just became find the friendship bracelet. And and steal kids chocolate. Uh what we got? He's a Christian fascist, of course he hates Jews. Even if Sweden was built on immigration. 
What's the use of it today? The good parts of immigration are far gone. We don't need them anymore, says Scarecrow. See, I, I'm finally seeing evidence of this, right? Like, I... They're, they're telling like I was gotten catch up. I'm like, okay, I hadn't seen him say anything. All right, all right. Um, let's see. Oh, we got some fuck Israel. Um, let's see. No, him. Assholes like Ackerson and the Swedish nationals, uh, nationalists hate to think that immigration built Sweden, but meatballs are from the Middle East, our cinnamon buns are from Venice, our spices are from the Swedish East India Company, and more. It's fucking dumb. They fucking found Islamic textiles in a Buddhist statue it's in some Viking archaeological, uh, archaeological ruins. What? You're telling me? Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get this straight. Non-binary. Are you attempting to tell me, spin me a fucking tale here, that people interacted with other people and that it's not just one singular group doing shit? Oh, that's weird. So you're you're like, oh, so like people like, oh, friendship bracelet number two. Oh, yes. Goal completed. Fucking now she she's got a friendship bracelet on either wrist from uh, from each of her brothers that she still occasionally she, she plays with and silently weeps. Um, yes. Fucking let's see. Have a cigarette. Smoke. Hold on. Hold on. Smoking in the girls' room. Had to, it had to be done. It, it just it just had to be done. All right. Now, where is that goddamn library? This is another class. All right. Yes. This is the library. I, it was. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Here's some. Um, sailor learned how to sail in Sweden. I know a lot of Swedish terms for sailing and stuff. And guess what? They're identical in Dutch. Oh, fucking. Who would have guessed? Um, all right. This is going to be a fucking haul. Well, let's try and keep this in the satchel. All right. Can I take all? Oh, I don't want that. No, I don't want to do that. I want this, this, this. I have Mechanics Volume 1. Grab that one. Okay. I'll come back for other shit. All right, let's see. Um, <laughs> Wait, here, I'll admit my political beliefs with you. I'm an anarchist. You're a Nazi. <laughs> um, the Swedish ethnicity is in danger of disappearing. It's a big red flag, bro. Um, just because, if you want to be technically correct, I share some values, but not Jesus <laughs> Christ. This is Scarecrow. Just because if you want to be technically correct, I share some values with Nazis doesn't automatically make me a Nazi. Just if you like art doesn't automatically mean you support Hitler because he was into art too. Oh, man. When you're making the, like, there's overlap between you and Nazis argument. Just saying. The Nazis weren't, like, right about anything. I mean... So how... How is there any overlap with the Nazis? I mean, you know, they made decent fucking uniforms. Hugo Boss makes good suits. Well, they look nice. Their functionality, especially but, in cold environments, ended up being questionable. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you employ slave labor. <laughs> it tends to undermine the product, you know, and blow all your resources, throwing your soldiers 
into pointless and endless wars. Um, but hey, you know, reasons. All right. Found that one. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay. Did that. Did that. Cool. Now I don't have to worry about generators. Um, let's just grab this. I have, I have, I dude, I got a, a few good mods fucking dude. This telling me whether I've found the item or not. Oh, Jesus Christ. Keeping track of some of these book volumes. It's unacceptably ridiculous. Hey. Scarecrow, you can have nuanced, non black and white opinions and still not have any fucking overlap with the Nazis. Okay. So. There we go. All right. And read that. Trapping, got that one. Metalworking, got that one. Any volumes four? Uh, one, Jesus Christ. Uh, volume one, volume ones. Volume ones. Ooh, make metal fences. Come on. There we go. All right. So what if the Nazis were human, Scarecrow? Of what relevance is that? Does it make it okay? Um, okay, so I'm going to stop reading these and start. Found that one. Found that one. Um. I'm curious, Scarecrow, what specific opinions do you have that overlaps with the Nazis? One, got it. Did that one already? Cool. Oh, handmade sugar. Grab that recipe too. And volume one, volume. Oh, there we go. Grab that. Grab that. Dude, I think we might have gotten a near complete set. I think we might have a complete set of fucking volume ones. Scarecrow says, I guess I'm too much of an empath, but I can see oh, the Jesus. humanity in all kinds of people, even if I disagree with them. Fine. Whatever, man. So why don't you feel that empathy for the fucking <laughs> immigrants yeah. and refugees? Um, I'll oh, grab that. Dude, I seriously think this was like, this is exactly what it was after. Also, uh, this is, um, my version of the virus has come about because of, um, climate, uh, climate change. And so like climate change is kicked off. And so it's like rainy all it's like for like just all the time in this part of the world. Like Kentucky's just be slowly becoming more and more of a swamp. It's not drying out. They've got like localized storms that just sit sit there for fucking ages. So <laughs> I turned the rain way up. I agree with some Nazi opinions and empath. Ma'am, you had a uh, uh, fucking 380 uh, Makarov on you on school grounds this is a gun free zone I have to com I have to confiscate in Kentucky that. I mean you know this is in the this takes place in the 90s doesn't it <laughs> they didn't dude they didn't dude fucking 95 I think I'm pretty sure it's 95 I I, I waffle on this Do we key? No. Yeah, you did, Scarecrow. 
You had those, those fucking problems for immigrants. Wait, I just... Mm, whatever. I'll make it back. Can I? Of course I can. This is this is how much how big fucking Roxy's dick is, fucking she's just walking down the street reading a magazine on how to like uh, better ferment and uh, pickle foods, with fucking zombies just trailing behind her, like whatever. So Scarecrow, is this why you can have empathy with the Nazis, but you can't have empathy with immigrants? They ain't my kind. <laughs> they ain't from around here. Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, fucking Hell's Angels and uh, somebody else just got into it again. It's a fucking sh it was a fucking shooter. Jeez, really? Yeah, yeah, they got into it, like, on the fucking freeway. Wow. Well. Mr. Empath here can't fucking empathize with other people, apparently. But Scarecrow, the Nazis did way fucking more rapes and killed way more people than any of your immigrants ha ever have. So why do they get the empathy, but the immigrants don't? Hashtag not all Nazis. <laughs> Oh, dude, there's Hell's Angels everywhere. Curious her. Dude, they're a global organization. <coughs> that one's actually new to me. Yeah. Dude, they're everywhere. They're in a lot of countries. As bad as the problems your immigrants are causing and I actually have it on some pretty good authority from actual real sources that it's not nearly anywhere as bad as you're saying it. the Nazis were still hundreds of times worse I will absolutely fucking judge the Nazis I don't give a shit if like somehow the immigrants actually did increase the amount of rapes hot, hot take y'all Nazis were bad yeah I'm judging Nazis. You know what? Unpopular opinion. I'm a little judgmental towards Nazis. Like, there's there's no way in fucking hell at all that your immigrants are in any way worse than the fucking Nazis were. They literally committed genocide. They killed millions of people. But Caboose, have you considered? <laughs> yeah, but the Nazis were white, though, so you can have empathy with them. Hey, empty gas can. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Empty gas can. Ah. Hey, somebody broke my fucking window. I'm gonna fucking cave somebody's skull in. The fuck is this shit? Oh, hey now. Come on. There we go. So I can work here. Yeah. Homie. What's non-binary get me? Oh. Well. It looks like me, don't you see? Wow. Okay, yeah. Non-binary just linked me a old as fuck interview of Swedish Hells Angels. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, they've been around for. They've a been there for a while. Yeah. Fucking dude, they're global. Um. Oh yeah, that. We're not trying to force you to defend Nazis, Scarecrow. I mean... We're trying to wonder why you defend Nazis. Hand that uh, X crowbar. Right, what am I? Scarecrow, you wouldn't happen to have. I don't want to be grouped 
into the- you were the one saying that you have views that align with the Nazis. You grouped yourself in with the fucking Nazis. Ow, 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 itch. Hey, there's a hammer. There's a wrench. Uh, do I have a saw? I don't have a saw. I could really use a saw, y'all. There we go. There's a saw. Fuck yeah. All right, now I'm equipped to do this shit. Ah, oh, fine. I'll, 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 I'll address my basic human needs and food and water. Um, Scarecrow, you literally said, yeah, I have some views that align with the Nazis. Sure, fine. That doesn't always make you a Nazi, but the problem is still you have views that align with the Nazis. A good place to start. Nah, not back here. Ooh, what's in here? I'm. I wonder, Scarecrow. Can you actually like link us any some any kind of like factual statistics that the immigrants have actually brought all these problems into your country and they didn't exist before the immigrants? Ooh, I should read that book first. Read. Sit on ground. Again, Scarecrow, so what if they're human? I Are the other guys not human? I know, right? All right, so that's foraging... And carpentry. Is there anything else? I should probably just level first aid or at least uh, read it. Yeah, there's a few I should do. All right, fine. Oh, God. Now she wants to sleep. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> you meant then. You meant. All right. So... That gets carpentry, first aid, and foraging all buffed. I need to do mechanics and electrical as well. All right. Also, yeah, I need to unpack all these lunches. Um, all right. First off, bookshelf. Why no light? Light switch. Perfect. All right. Bookshelf. Why is there brown sugar on you? Jesus Christ. Weird. All right. Now. Is. I think. Let's just double check, but I'm pretty sure that's all the books. I don't want to drop in there right away. All right, carpentry, first aid, foraging, done, done. All right, get that out of the inventory. Now let's fucking <laughs> empty all the kids' lunches into the fucking, all right. Quick primary, a quick secondary. Um, let's see if the kids were eating better than the, uh, the cops were. The cops were eating fucking garbage. Don't put it back there. Don't put it back there. Put it in the satchel. 
Scarecrow, you can't say you have views that align with the Nazis and then claim to be a moderate man. I mean, I don't know. Martin Luther King probably agree. <laughs> like, yeah, no, that feels right. We have a Martin Luther King Jr., which is a, is a white guy. That's an interesting take to make. Um, I just like to <laughs> fucking, you know, state that no, no, we're, <laughs> I think he's comfortable with it. Hey, a Slim Jim, a dehydrated meat stick. <laughs> I fucking just put a Slim Jim in there. All right. I hate to admit it, but I unironically like Slim Jims. They uh they taste good. I remember what they taste like. They taste good. Like they're 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 yeah. They're, they're not very healthy and they don't have them very often, but whenever the opportunity strikes, I have one. They're, they're tasty. Yeah, they're garbage, but they're but, but I mean like all that food is like of course it's garbage, but like they know how to engineer garbage really well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Well, at least I've got plenty of fresh food. That's the... I get it into a fucking refrigerator. Scarecrow, can you at all present us any compelling evidence that these immigrants are criminals? <sighs> and that they're bringing violence into your country? Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to cite sources on that, homie. Yeah, cite your sources. That right. and then boxes. Apparently, the empath can only empathize with Swedish people. Yeah, that's, that's a well-known limitation. I know. Sounds pretty Swedish to me. Fucking sounds pretty. <laughs> sounds pretty white to me. Racist? What? No. Not at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, there we go. Zippy, we talking like the Greek zodiac or the Chinese zodiac? Alright. So there was the cops' lunches that I stole. Here is. Kids' lunch boxes and lunch bags. There we go. Jesus. All right. Let's get some fucking shut eye. There well, we in the Chinese zodiac, I'm a horse, and in the Greek zodiac, I have cancer. Wait. Uh, hold on. Uh, his source is that he had an immigrant steal twenty whatever the fuck Swedes use for money. <laughs> Kroner. Kroner. They use the Swedish Kroner. I know Zippy, but I I couldn't resist the chance to make an I have cancer joke. Um all right. So Oh, I slept through the fucking show. Well, you know what? I got I got a oh no no no. Get back up, Roxy. Curiouser says I'm a horse too. Alright, so no, there we go. All right. Um, trapping, tailoring, metalworking, mechanics, fishing, farming. Except for the immigrants that come to Sweden, apparently, Scarecrow. Let's read that one just to get it off my back. There we go. And we'll do, we'll have a smoke. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Now, we are going to sit right here and read our fucking tits off. Fuck yeah, reading. All right. Is that... Okay, so it's being put back. All right, we'll just start at the top. Fuck it, work all the way down. Nice. All right. Love multitasking. Love getting some free XP in the background. And why can't those immigrants be your people, Scarecrow? I saw a meme. Was it? Was it on our fucking server? I don't know. Uh, I saw a meme about fucking like I think it was Korea that they were calling out. Fucking, you know, I just passed my Korean citizenship test. You will never be Korean. You will never, you know, I just passed my American citizenship uh, citizenship test. Fuck yeah! Here's your AR-15. Yeah. <laughs> like we don't. Like, yeah, it's always been kind of the deal. We're like, you know, you fucking jump through the hoops, and we're just like, whatever. Fucking. All right. Tailoring. Trapping. I always really love the whole notion of if you're in America, you're American. Yeah. That's fucking dude. <laughs> as far as America is concerned, you're all American. You just don't realize yeah. it yet. That's all. All right. I didn't grab cooking. So, yeah, okay, so cooking. <clears throat> yeah, it's cooking is the only one I missed. Oh, well. Fine, Roxy, you can have some food and water. Jesus Christ. I've been reading for more than a day straight. Um,. Have a have a slim gem. Have an oatmeal cookie, just like fucking grandma used to make. And should be good for a bit. Cool. Now get your ass in front of that TV just in case it goes off again. And Scarecrow, you still yet to present any evidence that what you claim the immigrants are doing is actually happening. <clears throat> I don't, don't lie, you can't even read straight. Yeah. Uh, don't speak Swedish or anything, but they're Swedish citizens. Uh, yes. Is that the same firehouse that we made our base in the last time? Uh, where we evacuated in Rosewood? Yeah. 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 I came back. I recognized the layout. Yeah, I came back. I was like, I'm going to make Rosewood my bitch. Plus, there's a Rosewood expansion right, right down south of me. So, yeah, like this town's bigger than it used to be when we were first here, and I got a score to settle. So, I figured I'd roll, roll Roxy out here, give her a fucking backstory in this town, and go for it. Um, Schrodinger's criminal immigrant. Yeah. Good. This week he hosted his second annual global initiative tour in the new year. More than seven billion dollars was spent to tackle some of the worst problems in developing countries, such as poverty, disease, and God, that muffled TV sounds like one of the best sound effects in that game. The audio design in this game is top notch. The only thing I would change about it is the sound effect for eating the banana. It is so disturbing. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. Like, for real. Like, who, who, whoever did the sound effect, if it's the same guy, 
I, I would I would be like I would be like holy shit you did one of some of the most amazing fucking sound design and audio work I've ever heard and now I have to stab you for the banana just so you know like I, I'll try and make it not fatal but like I you you need to be stabbed for the banana it's bad <laughs> it's like right in your ear just fucking smacking away at it and you're just like oh my god can you not do that. Um, <clears throat> all right, so, oh, I need to reread, oh, I don't even have, I should have fucking, I should have predicted that. You know what? That's on me. Um, fine. You know what? Smoke. I know what I'm going to do. I saw a meme where a girl and a guy are eating bananas and he deep throws the banana and it looks like what the fuck just happened. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah. It, it, fucking. All right. Let's see. Going on a book hunt. You're not even worth my time. Just follow me. Come on. Just follow me. Follow me. Yep, yep, yep. Fucking, I don't mind. Curiouser. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, are we done with him? Um, are, can we, like, are we done? <laughs> Just ignore them. Let's see. Rose Riss did a bunch of research on immigrants in Sweden. I have this. I have the research right here. Says Wordy. So there you go. Job done. Wordy will provide the research. The numbers will not prove out this person's thesis, and we will move on. It's that simple. And Zomboid reign supreme. Um, there you go. Fucking, there's a Google Doc link for whoever fucking wants it. Just control F and Sweden. Yeah, Zippy, she's been doing fine. Couple raids here, couple raids there. Shit happens. It's source library reloaded a bunch of liberal nerds who don't have anything to do with their time. Yeah, there you go. Let's see what that happens. What are you doing, Caboose? Um, at the moment, nothing. I was considering joining you, but I'm still slightly hungover and it's starting to get kind of late. How'd work go today with the hangover? Eh, not as bad as I thought it would. Zombies remind you of conservatives. I mean, a lot of people. Yeah, I can see it. Conservatives aren't real big on the whole free thinking thing. Come on. Come on. There we go. Um, let's see. Oh, God. Did you hear the Nick Fuentes' latest leaked audio? No. God, what happened? What what the, what the little queer say now? Well, I wish he said something gay, but this time basically he just said that he's like, su uh, he's conservative, so therefore he's like super into hierarchy, and he thinks it's actually a good thing. 
Wordy, I'm uh, just I'm just soloing it right now. All right, continue. He thinks it's actually a good thing when like gas station clerks get maced. Wait, what? what? He's he's referring to this fucking like <sighs> troll streamer like named Baked Alaska, where he'll just go and harass like cashiers and worker and like low level workers, and if they ever retaliate, he maces them. Oh yeah, I know. Okay, okay, I know about this guy. And apparently, fucking Nick Fuentes admires him, and he thinks it's a good thing because you know hierarchies are good, and you know those fucking low-level workers are all assholes to him. <laughs> so they just, I'm just like, wow. So they're all assholes to you, huh, Nick? I wonder why that is. Uh, you know, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I mean, okay, whatever. I mean, I, I yeah. Seems like uh, you might not want to do that, but okay. Seems like those are some of the people that, you know, you need, but yeah, he, uh, he doesn't think that far ahead. So, <laughs> uh, probably volume two and three. Yeah. Give me those just in case. Um, And Carpentry Volume 4, grab it. No work 1, Mechanics 2, Trapper 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. Are there any other that I really should be paying attention to that I should? Uh, oh, yeah. Did I grab? Okay, there's that one. And got that, got that. Yeah. Mm, there we go. That'll work two. And got it all. I hope I don't need that. Forging. All right, cool. I got what I came for. Get the fuck out of here. But first, a drink. <laughs> Fucking bait. Scarecrow, you ever gonna like present the evidence? Fucking beta blockers, fucking antidepressants, painkillers. Ah, oh, fucking a. Let's see. And yeah, grab that too. And I grab tweezers, right? Yes. Cool. Put a garbage bag in it. It does. Cool. Should just start collecting garbage bags. There's nothing special or unique about the Swedes. Nope. No, there is not. This is true. I wonder if you can empathize with Danes and Norwegians. Given, given the shared linguistic traits and given the shared common space, the common culture, can he empathize with, with, with Norwegians and, uh, and Danes? Or is it just Swedes?
Because cultural reasons, nothing to do with race. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Y'all some of those motherfuckers that need some of that black dick up in there. Yeah, right. Fucking, you're gonna end up with that Iceland app shit. Where y'all gotta y'all gotta check if fucking you're talking to your cousin. Or or you probably are talking to your cousin. Just are they far enough removed that you can bang them safely? That's all you have to really. Fucking you guys need some of that fresh DNA up in that fucking stale ass European genetic set. Good for you. Go. That's why you can't give a definition of what a Swede is. His definition is just look at the background. You'll know if they're a Swede or not. <laughs> no. Oh, so that's like our, our Supreme Court's definition of fucking uh, pornography. Just I know it when I see it. Cool. Well, at least he's somewhat consistent, considering that he wouldn't also want any to replace Swedes with Norwegians or Danish people. How do you tell the difference between a, a Danish and a Swedish person? One has a pastry for breakfast? I don't fucking know, right? Like, it's just some fucking white folk shit. Right, like you know, like fucking. What's the difference between a Dane and a Swede and a Norwegian? I don't fucking know. About three feet to the left. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, <sighs> hey, Scarecrow, do you believe in a con the concept of genetic purity? Oh, uh, B said the Danish has fruit and, the fr and frosting. The Swede is chocolate. That's how we know. Well, then at the least the Swedes are superior in that respect. I don't, you know, I'm going to go with the Danish. I'm not a big fan of fruit. Although creams are good. Um. All right. He believes in, he's been very explicit that he believes in ethnic purity. So, yes. So you're telling me the Danes are a bit fruity? I mean, we all knew that. What? What happened to my hammer? What? Are you linking me, non-binary? He says he doesn't look down on mixed people. Oh, jeez. I just don't want them living amongst us. I guess so. That still doesn't really answer my question, though. Do you believe in genetic purity? There's my hammer. Like, where'd my fucking hammer go? All right. Okay, so it's carpentry and fishing that I got leveled. Would I save my family over random people? Do you know my relationship with my family? Which family member, man? Yeah. Nah. No, there's some motherfuckers in my tree that just because we share blood doesn't mean shit to me. My parents and my sisters? Yeah, I'd probably prioritize them. My uncle, my grandma? Fuck them. Hmm. 
Blood don't mean shit. Yeah. My relatives are all assholes. Oh, I don't think... I, I think he... I think he knows how to fucking walk the line. I don't think he's going to get banned. He's he's tap danced this long. I don't... I don't see Cheese Nat in chat. That's... That's... That's him. Remember? Oh. We're calling him Cheese Nat. Okay. Yeah. I'll just put that... You know what? Okay. No, he hasn't, like, really broken any rules. No, he knows how to fucking tap dance. I just need a yes or a no from you, Scarecrow. Do you believe in genetic purity? That's it, man. I'll put that there. All right. Um, all right. What do you need first more than anything? Um, all right. Let's do... God, there's so much shit they ate. Just eat that. All right, now have a smoke. And now go to bed. <laughs> what do you mean, you people? Jesus Christ. Uh, there we go. Uh, you know what? Fucking three more hours, and I get some free XP. I ain't sleeping through it. You can fuck yourself. All right, so is there anything I can read in the meantime? No, that's not what I'm asking. All I want to know, Scarecrow, is do you or do you not believe in genetic purity? That is it. I don't need you, you don't need to give any kind of explanation as what the hell that means. Just a yes or no, man. There we go. All right. Let's kick this fucker forward. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forwarding time. I, how do you not understand the question? It's, it's a simple yes or no, man. Just do you believe in genetic purity or do you not believe in genetic purity? Okay, cool. There we go. All right. Now we're doing something. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we're casting with gas. All right, let's eat a banana, even though it's going to kill me. Um, oh God. All right, now you can get some sleep, Roxy. Now you can get some sleep. <coughs> I get, I, I can respect that, Scarecrow, but you've been able to answer every other question relatively fine. I don't know why this one's so hard. Nice. Just power leveling carpentry. We just got cooking done too. Now we need uh, cooking volume two. Let's grab that. Fucking sit our ass down and go. Shouldn't be in Hogwarts if you're a mud blood. <laughs> All right, there we go. We uh, we're power level. Not there. necessarily talking about eugenics. We're just having a a hearty discussion with a uh, Swedish ethno nationalist. Again, scarecrow. That's not what I'm fucking asking. I love that it's y'all and not me. And then I'm just sitting yeah. here playing Zomboid. It's, kinda, it's great. I just enjoying his games. Yeah, guys, this is great. This is great. If this, this is, could y'all could make this happen for like every show? It'd be great. Just fucking. Usually it's me in the background playing the video games while Kai does the <sighs> debates. This is fucking. This is what this feels like. All right. Uh, all right. Um, What do I need to do? I need to. Oh, I know what I need to do. 100% I know what I need to do. Thanks thanks for the follow Stone Doak. Fucking let's let's start fucking 
disassemble and shit. Hundred. Oh, no itch. No bitch. Stay here. I thought if to, I, to queue disassemblies. Now, if I could queue disassemblies, there's a mod that I need. Queuing disassemblies? Yeah, just go around, right click everything in the room, disassemble, and then just sit back. That'd be fucking great. Where's that mod? What if your deportation is tantamount to murder? Do you make a distinction there? Yeah, Gord, another nationalist. Ethno nationalist this time. Well, like, s fucking, yeah. Swedish ethno nationalist, Gord. I haven't engaged at all. I don't even think this motherfucker knows I'm alive. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's like, what, 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 what's that, that little square on the fucking screen? Anyway, it's great. Uh, how you doing, Gord? Wow. Non-binary linking something that is kind of unsurprising to all of us that the Swedish ethno nationalists have ties with the Nazis. Shocking. Yeah. How about that? Hey, did you know that the the current current government of Russia also has ties to the USSR? It's, wow. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like former officials just like went from one to the other. Hmm. Who would have guessed? Um, I really do. I love that line from Archer Mallory fucking, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for Christ's sake. Just go to NASA and say Heil Hitler and see how many of them stand up and salute. <laughs> yeah. She knew what's up. Do I have, have I found, oh man, I haven't been collecting. I need to fucking, I've been slacking. I need to check. I need to check. Let's see. Toolbox. Nothing. Just nothing. All right. This is going to be medical. This has, a, this has a probability at least. Nope. I hear somebody. And what if what's best for everyone is letting immigrants into Sweden? All right. In we go. Um, bolts. I got a box of large bolts. I got screws. A wrench, screwdriver. There it is. Box of nails. Exactly what I was after. Yes, non-binary. We all agree it is. I'm asking him. All right, let's see. Let's pick up some planks here. After our smoke. <laughs> that is very naive of you, Scarecrow, to believe that. Wait, what? Why'd that happen? The best thing for everyone would be if everyone had their own place to be in, there would be no racism then. Oh, Jesus Christ. Unironic segregationism. Yep. If we were all racist, there'd be no racist. Fucking galaxy brain take up in this bitch. Yeah. Yeah, right, Stone? Scarecrow, you should you should be smart enough to by now to learn that segregation has never fucking worked. Uh, I mean, you're talking to Americans. We tried it, man. Yeah, we gave it the old college try. Let's we'll just put it that way. Like if it, if if anybody gave it a shot, it was us. It was us, and it made things worse. Remember, remember, it was our levels of racism that inspired Hitler. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that was, I mean, for real, man. Like, 
just recognize, like, we have some experience in this arena. It's kind of fucking ridiculous. It doesn't work. All right, so it's like 1,600. I got that boarded up at least. Um, was it 1,800? Yeah, it's 1,800 where, um, where the show comes on. So let's just drink. I'll grab a fucking... For fuck's sake. I'll grab an orange. Which sounds like eating an apple, which is tolerable. Unlike the banana sound. Well, non-binary, I guess a broken clock has to be right twice a day at the very least. Apparently, they want independence for Sam for Satmi. Oh, the Sammy people. Yeah, the indigenous. Yeah, yeah they want the they want in, they want independence for them so they can get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, that's why they're like you know. <laughs> It's, it's, it's no scarecrow. It's never going to work because we've tried it. We yeah. have history with segregation. We know it's not going to fucking work. All right. So. Not a single country in the world that ever did segregation made it fucking work. You know what happens? It just becomes apartheid. Yeah. Like we're just we're just segregating it for the good of uh, uh, Well, you're stupid and wrong then, Scarecrow. Uh, okay. Explain how it would work then. You're like, oh well we you just you haven't let me done do it yet. If only you let me do the racism, we'd be fine. We've never tried real seg or real segregation's never been tried before. Jesus Christ. Imagine the ANCAP argument but for segregation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's not real segregation. What's up, Rewind? No, no, it's not, Scarecrow. That's very fucking racist. How do you not see that? I would rather want to save all races and all kinds of people. Everyone gets to keep their culture. That's the least racist thing you can do. Do you think culture exists in isolation? Like, you, you do realize that, like, culture and subcultures are going to form no matter what line you draw. Like, your, your line is stupid and arbitrary. That's the problem. You, you can't have your own cultures. That's not how it fucking works. Like, your culture is an... Multi-variable, multi-faceted, uh, branching tree that touches and reaches into and comes from areas not even close to you. Yeah. Like, in no way, shape, or form does that... Your culture doesn't exist in isolation. You, your culture exists yeah, because... Like it or not, the rest of the world has influenced your culture. That's just Stop. the reality. Even if you were to be completely segregated and not let anything from the outside touch your culture, the rest of the world's still going to influence your culture. Imagine fight, having to fight for the right to exist. I'm saying, we're not, you, I'm saying, we're you, denying your right. To exist. No, no, no. I'm saying you don't exist. I'm saying the thing that you're trying to defend doesn't even exist. It really doesn't. Yeah. Like, nothing you've said is actually a thing. Alright. Now, floor. And let's saw some logs. For two, you can split your time between Greece and Bohemia. All right. 
now. Let's um, grab some points. All I want, oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. He's not racist, guys. Jesus Christ. He totally isn't racist. Technically, no one's, yeah, no, like what Fertitta says, no one's really denying you that. I, I question your resolve on such specificity, um, but. What, what are other dangers? I just want to know what other dangers are. Riddled with crime and other dangers. What are those other dangers? Just curious. Race mixing. How much of an entire have you watched, Kick? <laughs> oh, not enough. This is curious, sir. <laughs> if the Swedish wife turns out to be a descendant of Norwegian, you cutting her out? I would know her background before I married her, of course. <laughs> Oh, that's not. Would a, you? That's not a creepy answer at all. <laughs> yeah. Would you? Would you seriously care? It's, you you meet a nice lady. It's good. It's getting off. Would you seriously care that fucking much? Yes, because she's a because she's a fil kind of filthy filthy Polak. Get your Polak jeans out of my Swedish jean pool. Or even better, a Jew. Uh, of course, her background will be listed in the catalog, says Beast. <laughs> and how are you going to get her background? Oh, uh, Marriage Maybe background on, like, check. Ancestry.com or something? Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna, Jesus Christ, it's crazy shit. It's just crazy shit, people. Oh, my God. You could pretend the cotton swab in her mouth is some kind of kink play. <laughs> oh, that's right. These three. This is going to take a bunch. All right. So. Humans. I know, right? Curious here. What would my Swedish ancestry mean? It means nothing. It means nothing. If I if I just throw everything in the trash, all generations of Swedes gone because I decided to be selfish. Do you Okay, I don't know much no, about it, Sweden's country Sweden's history, but I think I know more than you do. It's it's a fundamental it's a fundamental worldview issue at this point. It's it's the fact that you value that at all. Like right? we're, we're we could sit here and argue the subjective nature of what you you're talking about till we're all blue in the face, and that's what you're all doing. But at this point in time, all I'm hearing is that you think that somehow your innate Swedishness is somehow like valuable. Like somehow it's transcendent in some way and deserves some sort of weird protection. When I can guarantee you that the vast majority of Swedes aren't even 100% Swedish. I mean, of course they're not. They're people. Yeah. I'm pretty sure like a good chunk of everyone, every um, every Swedish person you know, <clears throat> has some kind of ancestry in another country. Even in a neighboring country, or something like that, people get people get around. That's just what humans do. It's just the, the it, whole fucking concept. It's just a goofy of idea. Like, yeah, of this whole national ethnicity is 
It's completely fucking made up. It's bullshit. It doesn't fucking exist. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Hang on. If Sweden conquers Dan uh, Denmark and uh, Norway um, and, like, just takes their shit and expands their borders, do they count now? Or do they have to, like, you know, integrate? How do you How do you feel? What what if Sweden annexed Norway and um Norway <laughs> Norway and Denmark? Would that be fine? We had Swedish kings in Poland, so apparently we're super valuable. Hey look at y'all. Alright, so there's four. Curious, sir. It's not. I think if he was at all capable of introspective. He would not eight. have these arguments. All right. So there's seven, eight. I need. All right, cool. Get three more. Why, why the fuck? Okay. One. Do you think that we can't somehow comprehend or relate to this just because you're Swedish? Is anybody in this chat Swedish? Homie, nobody gives a shit about being Swedish, right? Like, it's like being American or fucking, like, look, I'm really happy that I'm from, my home state is Vermont. I'm a Vermonter first. I'm not an American. I'm a Vermonter first. But if somebody was like, you're gay and you're not breeding and you're not passing out down your innate Vermonterness, I'd be like, are you out of your fucking skull? fuck is wrong with you like what 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 are you on about <laughs> like homie most of what you're talking about is what what intrinsic innate element of yourself is so quintessentially fundamentally swedish that it must at all costs be passed down to someone who is pure as well what element of you it needs saving. I want to know. What? Because what's special about being Swedish? Yeah. What? What? What's special about being Swedish, man? I don't understand. What? What? What is it? What makes you worth saving? It's special to me. Okay, so you're willing to put out others. You're willing to create segregated societies. You're willing to uh, cause uncomfortable living conditions and even potentially human rights abuses because you feel special. Cool. If that's what it means to be Swedish, then you know what? Fuck Sweden. Yeah, nothing lost. No big deal. <laughs> Swede jeans hit different. <laughs> All right. That's the base boarded up. We're not, how are we being manipulative? Yes. You can't you can't ex explain what is significant about being Swedish. What? Why does it need to be preserved? I mean, are you are you are you attempt, attempting like a deontological argument for culture that it is intrinsically valuable? That all culture is equally valuable for the same reason? That like does just the Sweden. Does the Swedish culture a hundred years ago in any way resemble the Swedish culture now? Yeah, not by a long shot. Garden of Eden, not Garden of Sweden. Uh, and what the fuck does it mean? All right. <laughs> Fermented fish runs in the blood. Hmm. Okay, is that 
Garden of Eden, not Garden of Sweden. Um, boo. Missed it. All right. But you are still saying that there's something significant enough about being Swedish that it needs to be preserved, but you can't explain what that is. Beef jerky. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat the burrito. All right. And drink the drinky drink. All right. Now, so we'll sit down and rest for a second. Recoup. Look at chat. Uh, based on this conversation, I don't even know what Swedish people are, dude. <laughs> I, I, is Sweden even a word? Are we sure that this is not some like mass delusion? Sweden isn't real. Sweden isn't real. <sighs> Stone dope. Got to grow up and realize that most people want toppings on their ice cream. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Okay, so now can I? Yeah, okay, hang on. I can do this. I can do this. Where's my watch? Why is my watch? There it is. Oh. That's that's just stupid. All right, fine. Um, set alarm. It's it's terrifying to you that people, other Swedes, don't agree with you, Scarecrow. There we go. Oh, that was a chunk. What is that? I just woke up naturally. Holy shit. Dude, she's Roxy's like that type of chick. I set an alarm. It was up at she's up at one ten at night. I fucking set my wristwatch alarm for uh for six AM to be up for the catch the XP. Dude, she wakes up at five fifty. She that kind of she that kind of person. Nice. Give me those XPs. Give me those free XPs. How the fuck do you even pronounce that non-binary? Oh, you're sweet enough, guys. You don't need topics. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Sweden's welfare system needs more people to work, so it'd be better for you. I mean, yes. I mean, people don't understand basic demographics usually, and they're like, we don't want immigrants. Next thing you know, you're like, ah, oh, why can't, why is our country collapsing? Looking at you, Japan. Looking at you. Oof. Wait, did someone say something? Wait, hold on. I think for a sweet, oh, I think for a Swedish woman, I saw for two, just so, oh, good. We've entered Handmaid Tales, Handmaid's Tale territory. I think for a Swedish woman to not be interested in a Swedish man is questionable to say the least. It sucks how normalized it's become because that leaves few options left. How dare those women have autonomy? Uh, this guy is an incel. Holy shit, we're not allowed to use that word. Um, fucking that homie, homie. Wait, is that a bannable word in like Twitch now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, shit, that I'm went bad. that went the way of um um simping. Same, same, same round, same batch of fucking bands. Can't imagine why the mods playing that. Um. All right. I have planks. 
I don't necessarily need them, though. Um, can I barricade just Twitch, one? Wordy? This bolt that this is Twitch bullshit. Yeah. All right. Let's just drop the fucking planks. He's a an an edgy virgin. Then, hey. since I can't say the other word, a permanent virgin. <laughs> Brainwashed by what? <laughs> no wordy. Who, what, and how has brainwashed Swedish women into being attracted to non-Swedes? Globalist media. Wait for well, it. Well, the globalist media has good fucking tastes. Wait for it. <laughs> Reduce got there for who, by whom? The globalist elites? Uh... All right, let's see. Oh, God, you really are... Holy shit! Damn it! I can't. I I, I want to call him that, but I can't say that word right now. You really are an edgy virgin. All right. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it's time to go up Main Street. It's time to go up the Main Street. <laughs> That's the Jewish space laser. Apparently, red wine thinks you can use the into in like the the term in its totality, like involuntarily celibate. But you can't. Wordy, if he even manages to lose his virginity, I can almost guarantee you it's going to be a, to a non-Swede. Because his, pure Swedes don't fucking exist. His ancestors, his ancestors will cry in shame from from beyond the pale, from beyond the uh, the pale veil of fucking from whatever Swedish Valhalla is. Is it just Valhalla? I think it's just Valhalla. Yeah. This fucking Vikings fucked that shit into everybody in that part of the world. Oops. There we go. Oh. All right. Ooh, police vehicle. I like expropriating police vehicles. I need to get my fucking mechanics and my electrical up. Then I can fucking Who's... hotwire. What propaganda? <laughs> Again. I'm telling you. I already know it. Of course, the sheriff left their shit wide open. Uh, with a box and nine mils. Yeah, that sounds about right for a fucking sheriff. All right. Yeah. Nothing's locked. Okay. Well, who's who? What? What propaganda? Who's making the propaganda? Who's behind this dastardly? Say. Propaganda to just put some goddamn genetic diversity into your people. Oh, uh, lock it. Oh, sweet. All right. So what's next door to the police station? It's the courthouse. Good job. You're a fucking ranger. What are you doing this, this close in? And for what purpose is this propaganda? Why why convince Swedish women? Damn. All right. <laughs> well, maybe Swedish men just really suck at fucking then. Oh, is that a thing you can't do while you're walking? Oh, lame. Swedish women are being told they are racist unless they go for foreigners, which consequently makes Swedish men unable to find Swedish women. 
So this is just to to further the the replacement agenda. Got really? it. Got it. You would happen to be a fan of Nick Fuentes, would you? God. Yeah, I'd love to see some of that propaganda. Yeah, can you share an example of some of that? Yeah. I'll watch it on stream. Is that any of that? None of that. Jesus fucking crazy tailoring is just rough. Fuck it. Don't care. Breaking in the courthouse. Man, I was supposed to go to bed and sleep off this fucking hangover, but I got fucking enthralled by a goddamn racist. Uh, happens the best. A racist Swede. Oh, hey now. This fucking roof tile is not morphing out of existence like it should. Fucker's dead already. A little pre-trial. Ooh. Gun so apparently the propaganda comes to a form of commercials, movies, political speeches, etc. It's everywhere. Okay, give us an example. Yeah, Can you link us something? Anyone, man. If it's everywhere, then it shouldn't be hard to get an example. Yeah. And hey, don't worry about it not being in English. Like, we got people that can, like... Work yeah, with we that. got ways. So, like, just you know, what you got? I believe we actually do have like a few Swedes. I think non-binary. In the non-binary can probably just work with it. True. There we go. Oh, they do have a lock up here. I'm lure, need, need to lure some idiots in here. All right, I came in here. Did any that, of these have a house key? House that's key. not propaganda, Scarecrow. That's just adjusting for demographics. Nice. Oh, we got oh, we got a suspicious object. We got half of a blunt in the court uh, courthouse security room. So where this? Yeah, that it, seems that yeah, seems right. In the surveillance room, fucking dude sitting there smoking a fucking blunt. Yeah. What else are you gonna fucking do having to stare at cameras all day? Uh. Oh, why can't there be non? Why can't there be non-white people on TV? What's wrong with having a uh, some other races besides white people on TV? You do realize other races exist, right? Not if he had his way. There we go. <laughs> Wordy. Oh. I mean, Stone, to be fair, Scarecrow is not the worst racist we've ever had on this show. Not even close. Scarecrow is downright adorable compared to other people we've had. Yeah, he's he's not even. All right. Um... Oh, hang on. Let me check that freezer. Okay. All right, now we're back to the stairs. Yes, Wordy, it was a good one. There we go. 
Job done. Nope. All right. Oh, Jesus. Can I? Oh. Okay, you drop, you take. All right. Oh, I need a fucking propane torch for this. All right. I'll be back for you. <laughs> Got a cannabis aficionado magazine in the uh, courthouse filing room in the cabinet. <laughs> Not the only one. What's this one teach me? How to sift, shake, and build a hashish press. How very Moroccan. Hashish sounds disgusting. Hashish. It's supposed to be tobacco and pot mixed together, right? No, that's a spliff. Hashish is just well it depends who makes it but at the end of the day it's basically just the uh, um the keef of the bud and then pressed down really 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 tightly and the oils all sort of like you know it's it's a sticky oily mess of just near pure thc at that point that sounds that sounds anxiety inducing uh it's a hell of a thing um, I have had hash before. It's you can get, you know, homegrown hash. It's it's a thing. We have it here. Um, what the fuck? Goddamn isometric. There we go. Nothing in that fridge. Jeez. All right, fine. Ooh, just happened to be here. Crimson is not being vulgar. Crimson is just being honest. Yes, woodcraft. Give me some carpentry. There we go. Scarecrow, you are not in any way realistic or honest. Um, okay, so that's red. Um, smoke. Get that done. Here's the king of Sweden with his immigrant wife, and he says she's nice and tight. Figures. Ooh, bucks. Um, yeah, I'll take that comic. So useful. Morning, ladies. Hey there. Just heads up. How we, we, we are actually streaming. Ah, uh, okay. Just yeah, we are live, so. Just be know. careful what you say. Typical guardrails up. But there's a Swedish ethno nationalist in chat if you want to play with yeah. him. Yeah. They've, they've, oh, de they've been after him for a fucking while, though. His fucking stream went on autopilot when they took over. What the fuck was that? Staples. Oh, that was Staples. Um, yeah. He's had some surprisingly entertaining takes. So I'll, I'll give him that. Um, hand torch. Do we want glue? I like the glue. Give me the glue. Um, da -ba -da -boo, ba -da -boo. His stubborn adherence to Swedish nationalism would be kind of endearing if it weren't so sad. He just believes. No. They just... No one in this chat sees your point because we think nationalism is fucking stupid. Dude, you're talking to anarchists. Like, we literally don't get it. I don't want my own country to fucking exist, let alone your dumbass country. Yeah, we kind of think borders are fucking dumb. Yeah. Not a big fan, man. There we go. All right. I just looted the entirety of the courthouse.
we don't believe in like racial purity. We don't think race even really exists. Amorous. <laughs> I'm doing my part in the genocide of the white race. Let's see. Done, done, done. All right, nothing on them worth my time. All right. No, of course no one here has changed their views. <laughs> no! Because we know we're fucking right. Unlike you, we actually have scientific evidence to back this up. I mean, you're just going off of like, the dirty brown people are scary, so I don't want them here. You haven't even been able to prove that the brown people are scary. You've yet to, like, submit any kind of statistical analysis or facts to show that, you know, they're bringing a significant amount of crime to your country. Oops, there we go. Hey, a blunt wrapper. Rock on. Yeah, I'll take all this. Rock on. So unlock your doors. Oh, I can't wait to get that electrical and mechanics up. <laughs> Crimson. Genetic purity has never gone wrong. It's called... Especially for royalty. It's <laughs> Habsburg's call, uh, calling on line one, sir. Uh, it's called statistics, dude. Look up criminality immigration Sweden and you'll find lots of research. Then cite some of it. You're the one that has to cite the sources for your claims. We're not Googling for you. Uh, because you know what's going to happen, right, Scarecrow? I'm going to fucking switch off. I'm going to pause this fucking game and put a goddamn browser session up on this stream. And I'm going to go fucking search for that. And it's what it's going to show me is when we look at the data is that you're full of shit. And then you're going to pivot. It's just the way of the world, man. There we go. All right. Dead? Dead. According to this, uh, since 2002, gun crimes have been declining in Sweden. Facts about migration and crime in Sweden from government.swede. So... I'm sure if I look at that, it will 100%. But that can't be trusted because you remember there's a propaganda campaign happening. So you can't trust those statistics. Well, then what statistics can we trust? The, the statistics that back up everything he's saying, obviously. Don't you get it? The Swedish identity he made up is worth defending because of his feelings. Yeah, no, I summed that up earlier. Fuck it. Solve us. Like, so because you feel special... Other people should be put out. Got it. Um, all right. So just eat this pear. Some more loot from the police department. Yeah, let's put those shotgun shells in there too. Apparently, there has been a slight increase in sexual assaults in Sweden. However, according to the statistical analysis, it's not specific to any one demographic. It's just... And apparently, it might correspond with increases of reporting for minor incidences. So there's nothing real compelling there to suggest that... It's the immigrants. But you have, have you considered scary round person? Also, the definition of what rape is in Sweden has been broadened, which means there's more categories to report rape for. Oh, well, you know, I mean, why, why take that into account? Yeah. Um... Yeah, we'll put this blunt wrapper in the cop's bag. That feels about right. All right. Oh. 
all of this. Also, apparently, there is an overall higher willing to report lately than there has been in the past. I mean, it's probably safer for people to report. There we go. And then... Equip secondary. Tough. All right. New. Alright. Where is the lunchbox? Lunchbox goes in there. And equip that on primary. Also, apparently, according to the same page, uh, unsurprisingly to us, the real factors for determining criminality in Sweden are socioeconomic factors and not immigration. Shocking. Yeah. Who would have guessed? I know not what to do with myself now with that new data. Yeah. I shall have to re But I figure the only study I could find on this says that the level of crime amongst migrants has increased because their rates of them in your society has increased. They're not overrepresented. Yeah, well, that would make sense. Also, there is apparently an overrepresentation of immigrants in poor social economic situ situations in Sweden. Shocking. Which is how that usually goes. In other words, it's just, you know, life got improved, the crime rates would go down. Right. These go over. Wait, did I read this one? I already read. Scarecrow, I would absolutely highly encourage you. To assemble this document so that we can look at it. Um. All right. So, yeah. You know what, Roxy? You've earned it. Uh, wait, was uh, carpentry went up too? Carpentry. I need carpentry level three. I planned for this. I have it. I know I do. Grab it. Okay. Roxy is going to sit down absolutely filthy in front of the TV, wait for her favorite program to come on, smoke half of a blunt, and then read a book on carpentry while, while, watch, while listening to TV in the background. Read. All right, Roxy, you get after it, girl. I'm, I'm going to role play. It's only it's only to help get in character. This is, I'm doing this I'm doing this for the game. Guy who is talking on stream, what's your username on Twitch? He asks. <coughs> Uh, oh, probably it might actually be me. Uh, hold on a second, Scarecrow. <coughs> That's caboose. Uh, what's your second second favorite build on PZ? Um, I don't have one, Marty. I I always play a firefighter build. I always start with firefighters. I'm not kidding you. I always start with... I, I've done unemployed builds, but I always start with firefighters. I'm telling you. Um, <coughs> so, what varies is my traits, Wordy. Yes, it was I, Caboose. I was... Um, also, we have a... Hi, I'm Caleb. I'm the English we have, we have Caleb in here, too, but I don't think Caleb's in the stream. I'm always in stream. Oh, okay, Caleb is in the stream. So, 
Yeah. So uh, wordy. What varies is my my uh, my my traits. Um, so Roxy's a smoker with a weak stomach and short sighted slow reader, who's also a Sunday driver. But she's got cat's eyes, dexterous, wakeful, fast learner, fit, and stout. So. I mean, <laughs> he, he just, he did the thing, the facts and logic. He did the thing. Like he actually did the thing. Ah, uh, this is going to be so much fun. Y'all are going to regret. How are you Swedish? Fucking, this is going to be How can so I be a Swedish ethno-nationalist if I'm not Swedish, though? This is going to be so much fun. Y'all are going to regret how you've treated me. Even if you can argue with me, you can't argue with facts and logic. Oh, I 100% can argue with facts and logic. No, 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 for real. <clears throat> um, what do you mean by facts? Like, what what do you actually mean by facts? Like, have uh, what is truth? How does how how do you arrive at your truth? Like, what's your deal? Like, are are you epistemologist? Right? Fucking you, some form of like deontological fucking utilitarian, like deontological fucking. Uh, just in, I am what I am. Are you some sort of Car Cartesian shit? What what are you? How do you arrive at your truth? I hundred percent can argue with your facts. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like yeah. Uh, all right. I very much am them, Amrus. I am always watching. All right, so let's get Roxy fed here. Let's get Roxy fed. Unless my ADHD compels me to go look at something else, then I'm not watching anymore. All right, now sleep. No, not rest. There we go. Jeez, this wakeful trait is amazing. <clears throat> Not only does the wakeful, like, hang on. I think it affects it in two directions. I think wakeful affects the tick, and I think it affects the the amount needed. So I think it's actually a twofold, uh, two factor. I think if you take the wakeful trait, you get thirty percent more juice out of your charge, and you need thirty percent less to get that charge. That's a useful trait. <clears throat> the leader of the Nazi party said, quote, I think that many Swedes would also need to be exposed to assimilation policies. Um, Swedes must regain their own identity and pride in being Swedish. There is an unholy alliance between liberals and Marxists where liberals think that consumerism and capitalism are more important than national identity. And Marxists believe that national identity stands in the way of class identity, class struggle, and the working class revolt against the, uh, the bourgeoisie, I would imagine, or the bourgeois. Um, <clears throat> the Swedish nationalist in chat said he wasn't a Nazi. Sounds Nazi to me. Um, what's up, Aspen? All right. Uh, let's just eat a yogurt. It's that kind of morning, Roxy. We're just gonna have a yogurt. Gonna have a yogurt and go mur go go murder some fucking zombies. Oh yeah, Aspen, uh, Swedish ethno nationalist. Oh, I'm, I'm certain we're gonna rethink our entire life. Wait, did he say something again? Uh, just wait until he's done with his document. Oh, is he making a? He's gonna tell him to make a facts and logic document. Facts. I'm and sure logic. it's gonna be cited by credible sources. Facts and logic. Facts and logic, baby. I bet it takes me a t maximum of four minutes to completely destroy that document and disprove it. I wouldn't be surprised if we could just like immediately disprove it upon the first word. I am going to see your first word and raise you because you cannot, <clears throat> you, 
you cannot destroy what you will never touch. Yeah, I know. Maybe we should do a bet. Will this document ever come to fruition? Yeah, see, that's 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 the problem that you're having right there is you've already presupposed the existence of this document. I just want to know, if he does it, is he going to be better than that doctor professor guy? Oh, he has to be. He has to be. He has to be. That was the lowest tier. That was embarrassing. That was bad. Yeah, right? Like, if you put up, man, I'll fucking, we, we, we will take that document and we will dissect it and I will fucking chew it up on air. No problem. Just no problem, man. Fucking, but like, Dr. Professor SC Wordy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was amazing. I, I you know, I, dude, he made claims. He was challenged to provide sources. I investigated the veracity of said sources. That's that's all the that's all that occurred. He he tried to present a source that early childhood sex education is harmful to children. And all he presented was a website that is uh, researching detailed scan, like detailed MRI scans or something like that. Just that. He No specific thing, just detailed MRI scans of the brain. No, he didn't present the scans, which, I mean, at least... It, it well, something. he presented a website, and then he presented this section of the website that was talking about how to like, calibrate the machine or something. Yes. He provided the calibration settings for a Siemens uh, MRI scanner, uh, fMRI scanner, that is used in this one particular project that is part of a uh, uh, Cal uh, shared Cal University imaging resource. <clears throat> and... I the thesis was is early life comprehensive sexual education a net negative or net positive to society he maintained that it was a net negative I maintained it was a net positive um, and he couldn't put anything up in on the fly but he promised sources we finally extracted said sources from him afterwards it was a screenshot of a page of uh, from this imaging um, project <clears throat> and three distinct links and he was like oh you can just fucking get get on the website right okay so the website requires like it's not just a website it's literally a fucking <laughs> it's a medical imaging project at the Cal State Universities, right? And so, like, they require your credentials and access to, like, all this sort of stuff. And it's like, you know, fuck you, just provide the document. He wouldn't provide the document, so me being the snarky, petty little bitch I am, I contacted the uh, website. Like, I, I, I went and applied, and I provided no credentials, and I told them straight up out of the gate. I'm a streamer. This dude has made this claim about this on air and I want to have a look at whatever the fuck this is. And they, <laughs> they asked me the, ma the, the project manager got back to me four hours. It takes it, approval takes a while, right? Like it's four hours later. Manager's like, uh, yeah, well, you got a name. <laughs> <laughs> I they gave me access to the entire fucking website, the whole project. And I went in and just I was like, this is this is calibration data. Like these links that you have provided to to, to this is the only evidence that this man could provide that was that early life ch comprehensive early life uh sexual education was a net negative to society. And <laughs> he provides just calibration data from a, a Siemens fMRI uh, machine for this obscure neuro mapping uh, like graphical neuro mapping project and that has nothing to do with this at all and he just thought that like oh you know I'll get away with this I guess I don't <laughs> you know yeah 
And so I, you know, told that story on air, walking everybody through every step of what this stuff is and what do these words mean. And let's have ourselves a little learning session about what what this some of this stuff is talking about. Right. And like it just doesn't have anything to do with the thesis. And he just required he was relying on obscurity. You don't re- security through obscurity doesn't work. Just know that. Um, and you know, petty lined up with academic petty, and it worked. Scarecrow, thanks for the follow, man. You're taking a beating. I'll give you that, dude, homie. Like we literally don't get it. Like that's you, 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 you have to understand that. Like, yeah. We don't see that that way. We really don't. Like this, this, this is really like there. We have empirical evidence on our side, and you got a lot of feelings. Like you got a lot of anecdotal evidence. It it just doesn't actually hold up. So, you know. Ah, that was a sore mess. Jesus Christ, that was... Hey now, leveling that axe. Level 7 axe with an axe character. Usually that's when you start to get be a killing machine. You just fucking... You just start popping skulls. One out of three, one out of two. You just start doing damage. Jesus Christ. Fucking Scarecrow, you have provided. You have provided. You have been a font. Look, Scarecrow, I disagree entirely with everything you believe. Uh, I denounce you. I whole cloth denounce you. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, but I, uh, um, just, you know, as a streamer, <laughs> I, it thanks, man. <laughs> he, took, he took a fucking beating. I respect it. I respect it. Uh, I kind of, I kind of do agree with them, though. I do, kind of. You're not like I don't think you're Nazi. I, I just think you're, you're like three degrees off Nazi. <laughs> and that's, that's just, that's just like not enough. <laughs> like that's not even close to enough. It's fucking like, yeah, yeah. You, you, you share a significant overlap of ideological landscape with um, other people who seem to share a lot of those same talking points. It just gets a little weird sometimes. I'm just saying. Um, but, you know, he took a hell of a beating and provided plenty of content for chat. So, respect. <laughs> the duality of man. It's what it looks like right there. It's like, yeah, you're a Nazi, but, you know. Hey. <laughs> I mean, y'all gave it a good fucking try, but like, did did you really think for a second? Like, these are fundamental difference, like world belief differences here. We're looking at right here. This is, you you guys understand, we legitimately see the world differently. We're not, we're not, we, we, we're not sharing space. It's weird when you encounter it. That you're like, but it's not, but yeah, it is. Round him up, round him up. Oop, swinging a mess. There we go, putting in the work, putting in the work. Atta girl. Fucking, that was just a crit machine right there. Yes. Yes, Roxy. You're a beast, girl. Uh, if you can admit that you don't seriously think I'm a Nazi, that's a good step in the right direction. 
I look, no, no. Do I think you're a national socialist? No, I think you're an ethno nationalist. I think that's your I think that's your core principle. I, I think that you're in that territory. Um And like that's like not a good thing, man. Like, dude, just because it's there have been lots of ethno nationalists and fucking ethno nationalism gets really fucking <laughs> really quickly, really fucking quickly. It gets not not pleasant. So like, yeah, it's it's not a it's not a good thing, man. That sort of chauvinism. It's just unhealthy for humanity as a whole. <laughs> she just cracked a bunch of fucking skulls. She needs to smoke. She's, she gets off on it now. She's not numb to it anymore. These, these, days, Roxy, these days Roxy's feeling it. She's like, you know what? I kind of dig this. getting her eye in she's getting her swing in she's like yeah no this makes sense this makes sense And the moon's up. Oh, yes. Nighttime. You get bonus XP. <clears throat> the way I've got this modded out. Oh, I can't wait to go home and smoke a bowl. It's curious. Or, yeah, I imagine after, like, you guys are in the trenches for it. Like, it's always, it's always a interesting time. I actually, <laughs> I got to check out. <laughs> fucking, I got to just play Zomboy. Y'all just fucking got in it. This was the uh, this was the people's stream. <laughs> Y'all decided you wanted to just fucking go after it. I uh, cupcake, cupcake, good on you. I mean, you, you're fucking your eye is just fucking in, man. <laughs> I don't I don't regret like. Pulling you back a little there in the beginning because it was a little aggressive out of the gate. But god damn it, man. You're always accurate. I give you that, man. <laughs> Fuck it. It wasn't because I doubted you, trust me. That was just pure optics. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait. Did the. Oh. Oh, fucking A. What the fuck? Now <laughs> you guys are just... Okay, now you guys have just rolled into the uh, fucking with him territory. Apparently the spouse of the current king is not sweet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, then... Off with her head or some shit, right? Monarchy. That's how we roll, right? That's how monarchy works. <sighs> yeah. Is it at all possible? Hang on. There we go. Oh, god damn it. There we go. <laughs> oh, that 
just fucked up my layout. God damn them. There we go. <laughs> We're done streaming. It's 4 a.m. Dude. Yeah. Fucking, I'm pulling it. I'm throwing it over to public. They can they can deal with you a lot. Oh, uh, <laughs> fuck it. Oh, uh, you guys uh, certainly had your play toy. That's for, for fuck sure. Fuck me. That's the second ethno nationalist from Sweden. That's that's it's just weird. We talking including Sven? No, no, no. I remember I talked to a dude on the air. Fucking, I remember how far back at this point, but I remember talking to a a Swedish ethno nationalist on the air. Yeah, that's the second Swedish ethno nationalist. Uh catch y'all later. <laughs>